All right, welcome back to uh, the PSR 2022 Marathon. Uh, my name is Aaron. I'll be hosting for the next hour or so, and then we'll have uh, someone else taking over. I think it's uh, Shriver, but I could be wrong. Anyway, we've got a really great run uh, up, up for you guys next. Uh, this is Elite Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green, a game uh, I'm very familiar with and uh, dabbled in this category a little bit. It's a lot of fun, uh, not only to run, but also to play. Um, the runner will be Mockwing. He's a really great uh, runner of the, this as well as the Any% percent category, and uh, he'll be putting on a great show for you guys tonight, or today, uh, depending on where you are. Uh, thanks, Mockwing, for taking part. You, I guess you want to introduce yourselves uh, and also your commentators as well. Okay, of course. Uh, hey, everyone. I'm Mockwing. Uh, I'm going to be the runner today. Uh, the run today is going to be Elite Four, uh, Round Two, uh, Alt Main Charizard. Uh, and this is a really cool route. I'm really happy to show this off. Uh, there's a lot of cool things. Uh, I'll go ahead and let my commentators introduce themselves. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Shep. I don't Hi, uh, run much, but... Hi, I'm Randall. I apparently can see now. Congratulations, Randall. Thank you. All right. So, uh, we have a pre-manip Charmander, just in case uh, starter manip isn't too nice, but uh, this is Fire Red Leaf Green after all, so we're going to go ahead and give starter manip a try, maybe a couple of tries, seeing as we might be a bit ahead of schedule. Say that before the run. Uh... <laughs> You're going to get it first try, it's not a big deal. Of course. All right. Uh, so I'll go ahead. Uh, we'll start the timer. I'll count down from five. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck. All right. So this is just your basic Pokemon intro. Oak is going to tell you, welcome to the world of Pokemon. Introduce you to a female Nidoran. Gonna be nice if we see one later. Uh, nothing too important here. The one thing that we are setting up is starter mid up here when we name our character. Right here. When I confirm the name, I'm gonna start a program called Flow Timer. It's eventually going to be a backwards counting metronome. Uh, where I'm gonna be able to put in my trainer ID, look at the available chars on the ID and then eventually uh, find the time that'll come up and try and match up with <laughs> a frame perfect input to get it. Let's see. Oof. Okay. So this is a very long wait for a Charmander, so we're just going to give this one try. How long? Uh, frame 7900. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a wait. Yeah. Not like I said, you'll just get it like first try, so... Okay, so that looked like... three. For those of you keeping outside. track, that's about uh, 45 to a full minute of just kind of staring at the lab. So that'll be fun. Hope you all have your copy pastas. I mean, uh, have fun in chat in the meantime. Okay, so let's see, that was... Iron Mon Marner's favorite. Okay. Many so yeah, so since we're going to have a, a long time to wait here, we can get into Starter Manip. Uh, so uh, as soon as you walk out of the house, things matter for Starter Manip, mainly the NPCs. Uh, each time they move, they advance the RNG. Each movement is worth usually two added frames. <laughs> Uh, but uh, if they're caught in the middle of a movement, then it only counts for one. Uh, you also saw me doing some bag manips outside of the house. They were worth five extra frames, and then inside of the lab, they were, or inside of the lab, I didn't do any, but uh, they would have been worth six. All right. Yeah, the bag manips are uh, <laughs> because if the um. NPCs move off screen, you can't see them to uh, account for them. Alright. 
Was it worth the wait? Let's yes. find out. Looking for 19 HP. Ah, modest. So close. Wait, no, not modest? that one. This one, right? 9, 10, 13. Okay. Three frames late. No worries. Almost runnable if it's a squirtle. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Manipulous. Manipulous. Okay. So now we're going to actually get into the run with uh, a good Charmander. You know, because I hear those are pretty good for the route. Yeah, it turns out fighting two rounds of the Elite Four with a Charizard requires uh, pretty good stats because these are going to be kind of hard fights. Uh, yeah, and in fact, the first fight's going to be kind of hard too. Yeah. Uh, did either of you want to get into how deadly? Oof, that's not what you want to. See. Not what you want to see. Speaking of, oh gosh, critical <laughs> hits. Yeah, this fight's, like, kind of bad. Yeah, crits are really bad. Um, because what is it? Two and you lose, yeah. Uh... Okay. Or on worst defense is one. But, um... Yeah, Charmander's defense is a lot worse than Squirtle's, so this fight is a little bit scarier than it would have been. At least Scratch can't miss, though. Yeah, True. the good thing is Scratch can't miss, unlike, uh, the Squirtle rival fight. Uh, but yeah, obviously, if, if you get crit, your defenses are kind of bad. Especially if you get crit after a tail whip, it can be very deadly. Yeah, uh, so... crit after tail whip is just a loss unless you crit, or it, or Squirtle misses. Yeah, it's funny. Even though Scratch is more accurate, you're more likely to die to rival one uh, than a Charmander fight would. Or no, than a Squirtle fight would. I'm thinking of the wrong ult. So, Mockwing's just gonna go through Route 1, can't manipulate, no encounter, so just gonna fight whatever it gets until he gets to level 7. You need 47 EXP here uh, to get to level 13 for Onyx, uh, because we need Metal Claw. Yeah, that's kind of good. Uh, I got a level 2 and a level 3, which is exactly what you need for Ember. Uh, but it's not the 47 for uh, level 13 for Onyx's Brock. Uh, so we'll just see what other encounters we can get and uh, what's the fastest way to get the extra EXP if we want to get them, if we want to go the Metal Claw route, which is preferred. Uh, but there is another option uh, if I get super lucky with like an encounterless forest or something. Oh gosh. So, continuing on with the parcel quest, standard, you know, you know how it goes. Yeah, just standard Kanto gameplay. Getting the parcel, bringing it back to Oak. Uh, we can skip uh, Alba, I think. What is it, like five or six grass tiles right here? Uh, and in this game, there's a mechanic with uh, your encounter tiles when you enter new areas. So the grass outside there, you have six tiles where your encounter chance is uh, essentially 1% to get an encounter. And then every encounter tile after that, it's going to stack and add up and be just like your regular encounter rate. Uh, so we try to limit our steps in the grass and like sometimes our movement can be affected depending on like how many more 1% steps we have remaining. So yeah, picking up our Pokeballs, we're going to be putting those Pokeballs to good use. Uh, not going to use them on Route 1, but we're going to see a lot of Pokemon catching. Uh, Shep, if you would like to say anything about that. Oh, uh, so... On, on Route 1, we're not gonna catch anything, uh, cause that's kinda not good. Uh, we can get both of the Pokémon there, uh, in other places. But, um, in Forest, ideally, I think 
Mockwing's probably going to stall if he doesn't get, like, god encounters. Um, but we need both Caterpie and Weedle in the forest. Uh, I think technically you can come back later. Uh, I don't know if Mockwing would opt to do that. But, um, yeah, so we, you know, the standard weaken them to get them more likely to catch. Uh, <laughs> do you want me to go over, like, actual catch chances, or should I go over that, like, when it comes up? I go over uh, it when it comes up. Yeah. Got it. Uh, but yeah, we can just talk about, well, this is the Weedle catch tutorial. Uh... Standard. Weedle can be shiny, just to put it out there. Yes, it can be shiny, so we didn't get lucky this time. Uh, but since we have some dead time, I just want to say round two is one of my favorite categories. Uh, definitely out of all Pokemon speedruns. Uh, I definitely love the Fire Red Leaf Green games. And with the round two speedrun, you get to see so much of the game. And with the catch requirement, uh, you really get to like explore all of the routes and uh, fill your Pokedex and feel like an actual Pokemon trainer. What IMO requirement? What catch requirement? <laughs> so E4 round two in this game is uh, really funny because uh, you need the national decks to unlock some Sevi post game stuff. Um, which in order to get the national decks, you have to have sixty Pokemon registered as caught in your Pokedex. Yeah, so gonna we start get these. Either, you know, through your standard catches or uh, through evolutions as well. And gift Pokemon. Yeah, and trades. And game trades. Can't trade outside of the game, but yeah. So here's Bugcatcher Rick. We're going to be making use of our new move. Uh, yeah, we wanted to get level 7 for Forest, so that way we could have uh, Ember for that Weedle, because otherwise it takes... Sometimes four scratches to knock it out, and or actually I think sometimes even five, and uh, you can get poison and it's not pretty. You it's just much better to enter with Ember. Also a big point, uh, we are plus one trainer on the Squirtle route already because uh, Squirtle doesn't fight any <laughs> optionals uh, all the way through the forest. <laughs> uh, Charmander right, let's make a plus two now. Yeah. Now a plus two, uh, with a type of disadvantage against the first gym, doesn't have the luxury of uh, delaying our EXP. So we're just gonna load up on easy EXP in the forest by taking out these bug catchers. Yep, burning down all the flexing trees. Yeah, gonna continue just spamming Ember. We're gonna be seeing a lot of Ember throughout this run, as well as Scratch, actually, uh, funny enough. Yeah, the two of the first two moves that you get, and you're gonna keep it for basically a majority of the run. Yeah, the one thing about Charmander uh, versus Squirtle is that uh, it has higher attack. Uh, so for catches, it ends up being a little bit tougher to, um, you know, weaken the Pokemon. Yeah, but uh, Charmander is also able to just kind of have a spare move, and any percent that spare move slot would be usually an HM move, like Cut or Fly, but here we're going to be putting S Scratch in our spare move slot. To just use that for catching a bunch of pokes. In fact, Mockwing's doing that right now as he's gonna catch this Caterpie. Get up to two Pokemon. So I do wanna mention uh with HP and how that kind of affects catch rate, it's in thresholds. So in this situation, uh it was above 33 is it 33% or 30%? Um I think it might be 33 for yeah, that's, Caterpie. Yeah, I, I think so. 255s uh but so right there that that would have been that's a 78 percent chance to catch uh above 50 percent uh would have been 62 percent uh but or uh god what between yeah 60 to 70 that's what it is 
Yeah, that's uh, one big strength that Charmander has in this early game is that Scratch is one, 100% accurate, uh, but two, uh, Charmander, because of its stats, uh, and Scratch does just a tiny bit more damage than Tackle, uh, you're more likely to hit the bugs into 78% uh, catch rates or even guaranteed catch rates. Yeah. And also, the fight at the end of the forest won't be hard. Yeah. Yes, hopefully. It only yeah. took three optionals to get there. So I see uh, people in chat are talking about Elite Four Round 2. So, Fire Relief Green is the first game to introduce the whole idea of an upgraded Elite Four, where you do some, some extra story-based stuff to unlock the Elite Fours. Second round with upgraded teams, and probably also implementing some new additions in the National Pokedex. So... Where Fire Relief Green, the requirement is to beat the post-game uh, Team Rocket side quest, and that requires the National Pokedex. In other games, there's stuff like uh, seeing every Pokemon, I believe, in Platinum, just catching Rayquaza and Oras. So, Fire Relief Green has the coolest Elite Four Round 2 requirement, and if anyone wants to at me at that, come at me. Uh, Pat Randall, yeah. you're correct. Exactly. Oh wow, very lucky. Yeah. That's the Pokemon we need. We just need to make sure not to knock it out. And that Ooh. actually looks guaranteed. Or well, I mean, 99.97% chance to get in that Pokeball. Seems good enough to me, I don't know. I mean, that's basically guaranteed except for when it's not. Exactly. Okay, and that's the ideal situation. So now we don't have to come back for forest for either bug. Uh, those bugs are pretty important uh, for a route that needs to hit 60 Pokemon caught total. Uh, they evolve once each at level seven and then again at level 10. So they're very easy Pokemon to stack in the Pokedex. So yeah, just one thing, one thing to note about this run is that some Pokemon are worth more than others because of evolution. For example, you know, the bugs are basically worth three because you can evolve them twice very quickly and easily. Uh, this goes for stone uh, evolution Pokemon and uh, Pokemon that you can use for in-game trades as well. Yeah. And there's also a, th a concept called the candy poke, basically. The, qu the quickest way to level up a poke to evolve, if you only need to level it up once, is to just use a rare candy. Uh, we're gonna have that option. We're not gonna have any opportunities, because Charizard requires a lot of rare candies on its own, uh, turns out. But... We'll have two candies left over, and they will yeah. most likely be used on the Nidoran. Yeah. Alright, so Oops. we're getting the first save of the run. Ah, our first gym fight, and actually not our hardest gym fight. That's unfortunately not true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the joys of running Charmander. Love Charmander. Just in general, yeah. not even Charmander. Around Fire two. isn't the greatest uh, typing to have throughout Kanto. Have you uh, really learned your type matchups in chat? Oh, wow. Well, that's a very useful crit. I don't know if Mockwing uh, knows his type matchups. He's using a fire type in the rock gym. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Charizard's stats definitely make up for it. Uh, what am I going to do here? I think I'm actually going to growl. I'm going to go for a safer setup. Wow, a miss. I probably should have healed. Anyway, I'm going to heal here. So going into Onyx, I'm going to get level 13 which means I'm going to outspeed Onyx, which is going to cause it to use Rock Tomb against me to speedfall me, which is not something that I want. It's not great. Uh, so we're going to lead Growl against it, and we're going to hope for a miss. Okay, it hits what you expect. Oh, yeah. Onyx will always use Rock Tomb in this case because... Hawkwing has a fast Charmander, uh, so 
Should I continue explaining Rock Tomb? It's very so, special. Oh, you can go for it then. So, yeah, because it lowers speed... Okay, uh, that be the last one. He, he will uh, always go for it if you are faster. I think they that's with any stat-lowering moves, like, or specifically speed-lowering uh, moves. If you are faster, uh, trainers with better AI will use them. Um, but yeah, also, on this fight specifically, uh, oh, because Rock Tomb does so much damage... Uh, you're gonna be knocked usually into kill range, uh, so he is going to end up more likely to use it again. So you need to be mindful of that. Oh, and this, oh this is not a good situation. Uh, the tackle crit was very, very bad. Yeah, it turns so out tackle to roll roll. <laughs> crit ignores the growl, so it's a, it's a little rough. Okay, we got a low roll. And Bind should stop now. Okay, well. <laughs> Did it not? Yeah, uh... Mm, oh, a miss! <laughs> You've been blessed. Oh okay. yeah, the nice side effect of using Rock Tomb. It can miss. Uh, it has a 20% chance of missing. Yeah, you would think that it never misses. And... Uh, in Squirtle runs, it tends to not miss there either. Yeah, sometimes it misses when you really need it to hit you, and it just doesn't feel great. Like, I, I've had a couple of those scenarios, too. But either way, if we're done with Brock, uh, we've used a lot of healing items, but that's <laughs> kind of par for the course, so... Don't... don't uh, worry too much about that... yet. Yeah. I probably should say yet, uh, but there's backups as well, if you run out of potions. Yeah, exactly. I could always grab extras. Uh, so, not too big of an issue. Uh, the Brock fight went basically as bad as it can go uh, if you're a high-speed Charmander. Uh, if you get crit back into uh, kill range for Rock Tomb, Onyx is just going to keep spamming it, uh, which yeah. is definitely a big issue. Uh, if that happens, it eats up a lot of your potions, which is, might limit my options later. So blindfolded Brock, you're right. <laughs> Congratulations. So yeah, for the first time in PSR Marathon, we're actually going to be seeing past Brock. In fact, we'll be <laughs> actually seeing the game. Amazing. Uh, so yeah, Route 3 is going to be pretty easy. Uh second trainer that is mandatory there's an option between one of two trainers uh, a lass and a bug catcher mocking is going to fight I believe actually don't know which one are you gonna be fighting uh, so with this particular Charmander I'm gonna be fighting bug catcher uh, and there are multiple reasons for that so uh, since this is a Charmander with 24 plus speed uh, it has a route option, which is fighting Misty and Surge early. Uh, and in order to get to that point, we need to get to level 24 by the time we get to Misty. So that's our goal, and there's several ways to get there. Uh, so one route decision is you could fight the last above, which is a two-poke fight. If you have Blaze, uh, it's a potential two-turn fight. Uh, the Nido Ran is a uh, range with Blaze Ember, I believe. Uh, and while, whereas this fight is four pokes, uh, each one, one turn. Uh, so it's a little bit slower, but you do get a little bit more EXP from this, and uh, that's going to allow us to make a different trainer choice later. Yeah. Yeah, luckily, uh, for for the early game, when it, while there's still a lot of bugs uh, on these trainers, Charmander makes very quick work of them. Yeah, and we're going to be uh, getting to our second catching section of the run. Uh, it'll be entertaining, maybe. And also, very possibly just boring as hell. Let's find <laughs> out. 
There's going to no be worries. one section of the run that's going to be very interesting coming up here around Mount, the Mount Moon area. Uh, depending depending on what happens, it could be before Mount Moon or after Mount Moon. Yeah, so... Uh, with round two, one of the special Pokemon that you want to catch is... Spearow, because you can trade it for Chitting, and Chitting is a very special Pokemon because it can learn both Cut and Fly, which is great because those are two HMs that you need throughout the run, and having it on one Pokemon is great because it only takes up one slot in your party. Yeah. A Chitting. Okay, so you saw me evolve into Charmeleon. If I fought the last, I would not have evolved into Charmeleon, which may have been better, may have been worse. Uh, we'll see right here. It makes this catching section here on Route 3 very interesting. Ooh. Very lucky. Uh, so typically when you're Charmeleon and you find level 6s, level 6s tend to just Oko uh, to scratch. Uh, but when they live, they're left at guaranteed. Is that, uh, is that Blaze? <laughs> For Pidgey, yes. <laughs> okay, so we wanted Spearow, but we didn't find it, but that's fine, because we could always get it in a later route. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Also, Great. we're going to go enter the center. We're not going to actually take the center, but we do need to enter it. Yeah, we talked to that uh, kind of shady looking guy, uh, but we bought a magic carp. Very Five hundred dollars, price. pretty cheap. Yeah. 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 The game says it's outrageous. Five hundred dollars for a fish sounds normal to me. <laughs> there was right a Pokemon and dollars, yeah, probably. Uh, like I said earlier, one of the great strengths with uh, Charmander for round two is its weakening. Uh, as you can see, for a lot of these Pokemon, we just straight up weaken them to. Uh, catch that was guaranteed, so we're not wasting any time with breakouts. We yeah. A little bit. Geodude? Hmm, not Geodude. That's fine. Geodude would have been a good catch here, or, I mean, a potentially good catch, because, uh, at a lower level, it won't have self destruct. Yeah, exactly. And dealing with self destruct later is pretty cringe. Uh, Which this didn't is mean actually... to get that encounter. Probably yeah, like this is another difference though, deal. like with uh, Charmander versus Squirtle because Squirtle can't catch Geodude here because it has nothing to weaken it. it has tackle. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I'm actually going to run into this scientist. Uh, this is an idea from Ananon. Uh, who's been running Charmander recently. Uh, on this uh, route where we need level 24 before Misty, we have to fight an optional trainer somewhere. Uh, and I found that this trainer makes up almost all of the EXP that you need uh, from that optional trainer fight. Uh, but it also has added benefits. Voltorb gives a speed EV, which can be great for certain Charmanders. Uh, but also Magnemite gives a special attack EV, which is really good because if you have a 30 special attack Charmander like I have right now, uh, you need two extra special attack EVs in order to uh, safely traverse the second round of the E4. Gonna repel again. Normally, Charmander wouldn't need to fight any extra optional in Mount Moon. That's another advantage Charmander shares, or Charmander has over Squirtle. Uh, but for this route where we need to fight an optional anyway. Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, wait. Repel wear out. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> mm. 
I ain't gonna use that last repel. That'll get us through the rest of Moon. Uh, but yeah, so that extra optional. Uh, originally, I had routed fighting a camper way closer to Bill's house to get the missing EXP that you need. But when Anon suggested fighting this trainer, I found it to be a way, way better option just because you get uh, all this extra EXP so much early and having this early EXP helps you so much for the Rival 2 fight coming up, as well as the rest of like the bridge section and on. Alright, so unfortunately we didn't get Blaze at any point during Route 3, but not too big of an issue. We just don't want to see Disable here. What is great. Blaze? <laughs> oh yeah, we should probably talk about Blaze. So Blaze is Charmander's ability, and when it is at a third or uh, less of its total health, then its fire moves do 50% more damage. Uh, that's an ability that all of the starters have with their specific typing. Uh, and in speedruns, it's abused a lot because it just makes your attacks so much so much more powerful. Thanks. All right, so Route 4. How long do y'all think it'll take to find a Sparrow? Sparrow, I'm, I'm gonna say... Uh, within three encounters. I'm gonna say first encounter. I'm gonna be I... evil and say it's gonna take seven encounters. I think it's a 35% encounter. Yes, it is. It is, yeah. Yeah. So, so anyways, I, Mockwing's uh, moveset is looking a little too accurate right now, so I think we need to fix that. <laughs> oh yeah, don't worry about that. Got all Thankfully, the right we're doing exactly that right now with Mega Punch and the Mega Kick, uh, PSR's favorite moves. So we're doubling down on Mega. The power is simply too strong. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mega Punch is 85 and Mega Kick is 75? Yes, right. that's correct. The thing about these moves is they hit like a truck. They hit. <laughs> Yeah. If that truck's going the right way. Alright, so I'm actually gonna run into this grass. Wow. No encounter the whole way. That is not what I wanted. Okay, Ekans could be good. Ekans not what has I wanted to see. a couple of abilities. Uh, some of them are not as helpful. Uh, Ranger, if you gamble in your own prediction, you can't actually set it. Except the okay. Winner. That tends to happen with Char in Route 4. You're typically a little too overleveled for this route, so you need to find, like, level 10s and level 12s. Oh, yeah. Same Ekans with level route six. 3 as well. Yikes. This is not what you want to see. So... Uh, Randall, continue about the abilities Ekans has. So, oh, I don't really know what abilities it actually has, but the one that you see when you're fighting against Ekans is the one that we like, and that's Intimidate. Uh, Intimidate, whenever you send it into battle, it lowers your opponent's attack by one stage. Uh, and it can also make it easier for a Charmander to actually weaken Ekans at minus one attack, but... The real benefit comes a lot later in the run. But that is exactly five encounters. Yeah. Oh, it's less than? Dang. Okay, there go my points. <laughs> okay. We can now do one on Rival 2 and I'll just get all my points back. Smilers. I know, yeah. We can have another prediction right away. <laughs> this fight is awesome. We love this fight. So, welcome to, uh, the one silliest fight in this entire run. 
Actually, I think it's safe true. to compare this fight to a casino. <laughs> There's a lot yeah. of things that can go wrong, and uh, we're probably going to see a couple of them, so it'll be fun. I hope you guys like Mega Punch the and Mega Kick. The prediction is probably uh, whether we get through Rival 2 first try. Yeah, first try or not. So, there's going to be a lot of silly fights. Uh, they're, most of them are going to be silly because the AI is just dumb, and we manipulate it in ways to make it look even dumber than it actually is. Uh, but this fight's dumb because it's, it's stupidly hard. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to explain until <laughs> he either makes it through or dies. Yeah, this fight is <laughs> definitely one of the reasons why I don't want to run Charmander again. <laughs> yeah, so the any percent route is worse because you're level 17 for this. Real uh, reason you have to is... leave. Double kick. Ugh. Yeah, worst first turn. That tends to happen. Yeah. The real reason is this Pokemon sucks and makes people's execution worse. <laughs> so, Sand Attack lowers your accuracy by one stage, which means Aquaman's gonna swap to try to not make his Mega Kicks even harder to hit. Yeah, 75's low enough. Let's we, we don't need to get any lower than that. You're going too fast, you need a handicap. Oh, don't worry, there's many oh. handicaps on its way. That's... Oh, okay. Good and bad. <laughs> That's bad probably for the prediction. Because... Oh, yeah, it's, it a, out so it's quick. a horrible sign for the prediction. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're almost certainly getting through first try. Uh, but this isn't the ideal situation. Because you want Blaze leaving this fight. Or something uh, close to Blaze, uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't think we're, uh, close to Blaze. <laughs> Gotta say. And, and you don't want Blaze for just level 20, you want Blaze for level 21 or 22. Actually, both. But... Yeah, we're, it's gonna take a while before we get to... close. Uh, the next prediction will... De when we get there in about 12 minutes uh, will we get through Misty first try? There are a number of fights that are way more terrifying without Blaze. Uh, I think, what, two of them are here? And then there's one in Rock Tunnel. Yeah, two here. Uh, they're closer to the end. Uh, Nugget Bridge is a bit of a, an easy job. I think you should just Mega Kick the Weedle and miss. I, yeah, I'm okay. actually going to Mega Punch the Weedle right now. Dang. Okay, so... I was hoping for a miss into Poison Sting Poison. Uh, can't always get what you want. I would have unironically kicked it. <laughs> <laughs> Better chance of missing, and if not, it hits even harder. It goes from dead to turbo dead. It's okay, I mean... I could always try and get poison off of Nito. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Gen 3 introduced abilities to the game. Some of them are really helpful, and that's such as Blaze or Torrent if you're using less fun starters. There's other abilities that will keep you alive, such as Intimidate. There are some that help you take damage, such as Poison Point. So yeah, well, luck luckily these first couple of trainers are, their Pokemon's pretty weak. Uh, grass is uh, a great type for us. Uh, but pretty soon we're not going to be Okoing Mons because we don't have the Blaze power boost. So we're, I'm going to try and do my best to get back into Blaze as soon as possible. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what I just want to see is you get poison point and then you just start running laps to get the poison ticks. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. Like, I'm probably gonna need to carry content. it through like a fight or two. 
Yeah, right. there's two fights, but the thing is like... Actually, yeah, no, that should be... Ekans Poison Sting? Fight's not optimal. Oh yeah. Well, actually, tech kind of, since it's... I think it's the least amount of letters for a move it has. Alright, we're, we're getting closer to, get to plays. We're getting closer. Okay. Ah. Alright. One more. A miss. <laughs> Fuck what is going on. <laughs> is poison a poison point chance of uh, activating? <laughs> Just use Scratch, Kappa. Alright, still not poison. <laughs> not optimal. <laughs> but luckily our HP is high enough to be able to tank uh, moves we don't want to see. Honestly, if you see the moves you don't want to see, it's actually okay. It'll get you into Blaze. Well, it's not bad. This HP is actually solid as long as I uh, don't get crit, as the kids say. If you simply yeah. get lucky, the game is won. <laughs> Alright, so, uh. Yeah, we're almost at the point where we're at Blaze. It's really good, because we kind of need it very soon, in fact. Uh, yeah. It turns out doing more damage against uh, oh. rock types helps. Close. Maybe Crit Astonish? Seems I'm asking for too much. Just throw a good. Pokeball. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're not gonna have the 50% the power boost for this next fight, which is a little unfortunate, but it shouldn't be a problem, Smilers. Yeah, I... I think if we get hit into Blaze, uh... At the end of turn one, we should be fine. Otherwise, there's a reason we grabbed a revive. Perfect. Shout out to Onyx. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. Did okay. <laughs> So, uh, random AI, just, uh, in yes. case anyone is curious. Wow. <laughs> Three rock throws in a row. Okay, well, now I'll need to save for a couple of extra fights, but that's fine. Everything is fine. Chat, everything is fine. Dan wants a staring contest. Okay. Yeah, hitting Dan I think is kind of bad with Charmander, because uh, he has a slowpoke. Yes, yeah. Yeah, you, you could imagine it's it's not as easy as just Okoing with Bite. Uh, Mega Punch, yeah. Mm, okay, that's fine. Alright, nice, Into uh... Into Blaze? Kinda shared pass. So, uh... Chap, do you want to explain the... the uh, running movement that Mockwing just did? So, he ran to manipulate, uh... where Dan was looking. Um, so that... Because when, when you run, the trainers, uh... or spinners specifically will look at you, uh, in your direction. 
And so the way he ran like that was to make sure he was looking up so he could safely walk down. I yeah, don't know was... the amount of time spinners are frozen for when you do that, but uh, it's enough to get a safe pass. Okay, we're gonna heal off poison here. And luckily because uh, Charmander's strong and uh, O-code a couple of wilds earlier, we're gonna make that EXP work for us. Uh, we got level 23 early for this fight. Uh, and that's very nice <laughs> for those that have run char because that Geodude, the leadoff one, is a plus special defense nature. I believe the range is 9 and 16 to Oko it with Blaze, while the I rest of the Geodudes like are. Seven. Seven. But yeah. Universe. Yeah, it's it's not great, uh, but luckily 23 uh, levels ending with three get the extra attack boost, uh, and it fully guarantees that range. Yeah. So no need and to save anymore. Similar to that Onyx, even though we didn't really see it, uh, it's also random AI. So if you do miss the range, but if you don't have to go for range, why bother? Yeah. Anyways, uh got this fight here, and then after that we're going to be fighting Misty, and we're going to be seeing if Ranger loses all of his points. I mean, if Mockwing <laughs> beats Misty, yeah. Mockwing's going to get it first try just because I also gambled all my points, so if you don't, I will be upset. I went all in on you dying, so do me a favor. I won't run double lose. My practice run earlier today uh, offline went very great. It was extremely lucky, so I d I didn't have high hopes for my luck <laughs> in the so marathon. So that means run. that the marathon run's gonna be lucky too. That's how that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did anything go poorly though? I made anything sure not to finish that run earlier to to not seal the luck. Okay, fine. Anyways, uh. Gonna be saving Bill from his his own creations, <laughs> and then I'm gonna go fight Misty. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. So normal Charmander routes uh, will delay Misty uh, till you have a little bit more XP, have uh, some more levels. Uh, mainly for like a, a tiny little damage boost. Uh, but obviously we hit level 24 and that was for a reason. Uh, we have two rare candies so we can use them right away to get to level 26. And level 26 is the first level Charmeleon finally outspeeds Starmie. Uh, speaking of Starmie, if anyone has a, a 21 Mao. Now is the time to spam it, because uh, Misty is, as said, a hard fight. Okay, not great. Fine. I'll just buy more potions later, Copium. Shoutouts to <laughs> Swift and the emote team on Pokemon Speedruns TV. Emotes are amazing. Oh yeah, these emotes are honestly really good. All right, and now it's time to save the game and not die. Classic. Yeah, no revive. So special. Save here is an absolute must. Uh, we got Mega Punch for a reason. The Star U Oko's to it if it hits, and it does. So will you hit? Uh, Starmie now. Yes, this Mega Kick is crucial. Awesome. That does not look like under 40 health, so I'm gonna kick again. Excellent. Okay. Look at me go. My gambling always pays off. <laughs> oh my points! What the heck? First try on the hard fights. <laughs> easy. Easy peasy. All oh, my points. 
it's all good. Uh, let's see. Now we're gonna be heading down south to Vermilion City. Um, not gonna be too bad. Yeah, so, uh, whoops, I let go of the D-pad. Uh, an earlier iteration of this route didn't fight an extra optional, but instead was just like the red route and fought this dig rocket to get level 24 uh, for Misty and then would just like hop the ledge and go back and fight her. Uh, but entering this house is so slow, uh, uh, plus all the benefits of the extra EXP earlier, it just makes more sense to fight an optional earlier. Also, that uh, Drowsy, despite us being uh, a higher level and having slightly better stats, uh, Mega Kick is still the only move that's guaranteed to Oko it. Uh, if you have a really high attack, uh, Charmeleon. Uh, it could be a really good range to knock out with Mega Punch, but it won't be guaranteed. So, uh, I enjoy the underground in Fire Leaf Green. So we just kind of run and do nothing. And it's going to head straight down. There's going to be a rare candy to the north on this route, but we're not going to pick it up yet because we need it later. Never mind. Actually, since Citrus we're Berry already is very important too. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're out of healing. No, the citrus berry is for uh, for other purposes. Yeah, the citrus oh, berry has no. <laughs> yes, the citrus berry is a very special item. As you can see, some of the commentators are boomers and don't run this route. <laughs> uh... Honestly, you're doing better for yourself by not. So. I know. It's true. <laughs> this there is, is one uh, common much reason practice is self care. That being said, I've lost all of my channel points, so I am a little upset. So uh, I need you to die to this uh, one of these next like three fights to make uh, make my misery a little. Up. I'll uh, vote with you so you can win, Randall. It could very easily happen. So you're saying there's a chance. Right, also, we so... gotta go through them. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, this is a good example, you know, the first in-game trade where we get the far-fetched eh, Chiding. Um, and then we'll run over and get the uh, bike voucher and then it's over to SSN. Yeah, definitely any in-game trades where, like, the Pokémon is easy to get, we're definitely going to want to take advantage of that. Uh, 60 Pokémon is a pretty high uh, poke requirement, and unlike the Blastoise route, a Charmander... Well, actually, Randall mentioned it earlier. We suffer from a lack of extra rare candies to use on those pokes. So it's really important that we try and get as many extra Pokemon in the, in like, future catching sections as we can. Oh, what's that pull? How many times will Mockwing reset on cans? <laughs> One, two, three, and lol. I don't really know how lol is going to be achieved, but I'm still going to pick it anyways. I think I've that's gotten... no resets. I've gotten four reset cans before. Oh, wait. If it's zero? Why did I choose That's... that then? <laughs> because he's gonna get what god cans. You did You did good. He's gonna get god cans. Don't worry. What am I... Also, here's uh, a rival. But rivals... The easiest fight in this stretch of the run. It's not actually an easy fight, but... Normally hey, it is an easy yeah. fight. Uh, so, uh, there's, like, there's two main, well, there's a main Charizard route, I will say, uh, and that's Exarion's route from 2020, and it's a very good route, uh, very consistent, 
uh, and I definitely still follow like nearly half of those notes uh, in this version of the route. Uh, but one of the big differences is that he obviously uh, delays Misty, he also delays Surge. Uh, and one thing extra he does on the boat is he grabs Brick Break, which is specifically for Ward Turtle and a couple of extra Pokemon, especially in Rock Tunnel. Uh, but Mega Punch makes a fine replacement, as you can see. All right, so we got Double Withdraw, which isn't exactly what we wanted. Uh, we want Blaze leaving this fight, so I'm gonna stall for a little bit, actually. Uh, yeah. Should I? Nah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill it. You could have tried to catch the War Turtle. I could have. I, I was considering it. Uh, Very uh, low catch rate, I gotta say. I mean, it's not terrible. Yeah, normally you would want to Master Ball a Pokemon with its catch rate, but like... Dude. You need to yeah. solve for one more Hyper Fang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is kind of okay. funny. <laughs> Alright. That was good. <laughs> last turn. Last turn of stall. <laughs> Can we count that as a can reset, Kappa? <laughs> Wouldn't that make you lose? Oh, because it would push me over f over three once he gets really bad cans. All right, it's all good. We could always have a better fight. Maybe not. <laughs> Got it's the sand attack. At least quick attack is better than gust there. by a second and a half. Yeah. Geoda also likes to prioritize sand attack when you're at higher HP, so uh, a little unfortunate, but happens. Yeah, it's just something that you have to deal with. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna scratch. Oh, wow. I was not expecting to hit that into... What is that? Torrent. Torrent for War Turtle. Blaze for me. I get confused sometimes. Okay, take two. Can you... Oh no! <laughs> what happened this time? <laughs> nice miss. Okay! Crit! Wow! We take those. That's a win! <laughs> Easy. Easy peasy. And then, because Charmeleon is just naturally faster than War Turtle, and we have an extra level at this point, we're gonna outspeed that Kadabra, just one shot it with Blaze Ember. Alright. You would think that would be the annoying fight. Think again. <laughs> we have one more. One more. Uh, pretty annoying fight, and that's early surge. As you could imagine, delaying it has obvious benefits. It's a three-turn fight. You always yeah, and I still don't understand why y'all don't do it. It's funnier. I mean, I do do it in my actual PB. I mean, I use Xarya throughout my actual PB because I it's like, technically technically no PB with this route except for the 4:30 race. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyway. Last week, this, uh, last week on Sunday, we did a race of Charmander Round 2, and uh, it, it went about as well as a Charmander race goes. I still blame got, the notes for not coming in second. We got, uh, everyone finished. The times that people finished in were, uh, all over the place. Our fastest was a 355, and our slowest was like a 43x, I think. Yeah, something like that. Also, playing into the gym, so uh, let's find out how many. This tree looks like it can be cut down. <laughs> oh, well, that's unfortunate. He turned. Yeah. 
Well, we aren't finding this can fast, but it's all right. So we grabbed that citrus berry earlier, and it's going to come into play very soon. As soon as we find the first can, actually. Oh, gosh. I don't know anything about the early surge fight, but uh, I can tell y'all it's going to be fun. It's a good fight. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to silently watch. Jap, you're the expert. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, so this is why Citrus Berry is important. Um, because it activates when you're under half health. So it's just a, a free heal up to uh, oh, nice. decent HP, allowing uh, Raichu to hopefully... Also, no reset cans. Let's go. Uh, hopefully be able to hit us into Blaze. Uh, having Blaze entering the fight is important, though, because you want to Oko Voltorb, so that's why we need the Citrus Berry heal. Yeah, exactly. If we didn't have Blaze entering the fight, then we'd have to Mega Kick the Voltorb to Oko it, and obviously not a 100% move, so not ideal. <laughs> no, but yeah, Citrus Berry. Activating the second turn of the fight when it doesn't matter because Pikachu will die to non-Blaze Ember. Right? Hit! Beautiful. Static is okay, because we're probably getting Thunder Wave. That's not good. So, we Paralyze Heal here. Perfect. No! <laughs> <laughs> Do I tank? Okay. Yeah, that's why this <laughs> fight's really inconsistent. Yeah. Um, You basically just need it to go pretty much perfectly or else you just die. Yeah, there's, it's typically like a good setup because uh, since you're faster than Raichu, Surge will normally use Thunder Wave in that position to be faster the next turn and then he doesn't have a double team up and then when you heal with paralyze heal uh the ember is free uh because you're in blaze and then you just finish the fight easy <laughs> that is a technically you can reset <laughs> from 1.8 to 19k <laughs> I went okay. from like 12k to uh, 130 in three predictions. Punch miss is not ideal. So let's see. I'm gonna want to still punch, actually. Okay. Still gonna want to parry heal here. Shockwave. Okay, this time just hit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. This fight's uh, something else. Yeah. So, the problem is, with this fight, we turned it into uh, the Squirtle version of the Surge fight, essentially. Like, you're a little bit more favored to win, because obviously, Electric isn't as strong against Fire as it is against Water. Uh, but some fights will still essentially come down to, are you going to hit your 75% move? The answer is, for some reason, usually no, even though you are favored to hit it. He also uses double team, which makes 75% a little less than 75%. Just a tad. Yeah. Yeah. The thing with uh, War Turtle is, Shockwave does consistent damage, but have a stronger move than Ember at that point, so... Okay, your semi-accurate move is actually like a decent power for war total. A double team. Okay. So in this case, we punch again. Miss is fine. Thunder wave's still fine. We're gonna ember because it's likely to shock wave. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh. Oh wait, no. I still have no healing. Oh. Okay, so we found ourselves in a very bad situation because Brock ate 
all of the healing earlier in the run. So you might be wondering how I ended up in this position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> A classic Charmander run. This year, I'm really just here for all the cursed content. Okay, I think we're, we're reviving the cursed block here. <laughs> Oh yeah, this will single-handedly recurse any block. Well, we haven't seen curse yet, so... Uh, it, it would be ideal if we did. That is true. Okay, static's good. Thunder wave? Why aren't you thunder waving? That's fine. Oh, my goodness. I'm uh, uh, in, in a little shock, <laughs> but we're going to make this work. This estimate, this estimate's fine. All you have to do is hit some moves. You got this. <laughs> you got this. I can't believe your Charm or Charmeleon, I guess, is doing its best uh, Randall cosplay, going completely blindfolded at Surge. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> Do you need something to uh, spark uh, something beneath uh, your Charmeleon? Uh, maybe. Because currently, you're having a little bit of trouble. Yeah, it's a little shocking how long <laughs> this has taken. Yeah, this is normally a fight that is not this difficult to get past, uh, but yeah, it's it's not every time you see... I can't remember if it was three or four straight misses, and also several times Raichu has uh, led double team instead of Thunder Wave. Yeah, it's fine. Once again... Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's what it looks like when we actually beat Surge. Let's all exactly, clap for Storms. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, I did split. This is okay. Early flamethrower versus dying to Surge. Uh, I know, yeah. I think I'm not going <laughs> to take that trade, I think. I think it's a pretty good trade if you're trying to go faster. It's a very good trade for your opponents to make in your race, so that you can win while others can't. Yeah, but then what happens if they beat Surge not first try? To... Well, then. Not gonna risk I don't that move. With... You just run out of luck on, Surge. on a Elite Four instead of. I don't know. I don't know. Or Safari Zone. Uh, shout outs to Safari Zone. Chef, Safari you're probably Zone's the a Safari fun... Master. Safari yeah. Zone is a lot of fun. Uh, I, I've put a little bit too much time into actually understanding it. Uh, and it, you know what? It's paid off, so I don't care. Yeah, so we're done with the really bad fights uh, for a while. Especially because of Early Flamethrower, which makes... The rock tunnel fight's a lot better. So, we can uh, stop boring for a little bit. I won't say we're completely out of the woods, but uh, we're, oh, we're good for, for a whole two fights. There's, there's a good while between those two fights. You have to do some shopping and like go through a full route, you know. Yeah. So we got some time. It's 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 a long two fights, four and three Pokemon respectively. So, I say a long two Empire fights. Unlike yesterday, I was commenting Cola where you could go like a full ten minutes between fights, but I'm not gonna mention that. So Mockwing gonna restock on regular potions because uh, it's been a while since he actually had one in his. Sorry. Regular potions are surprisingly useful, again, because we want to keep Blaze. Um, so it's kind of mostly a safety option. Uh, it's a nice safety net for, like, even later in the game. 
let's get to the tree. Yeah, uh, let's see. Also, stocking up on some other items. Uh, the six escape ropes put Mockwing at a total of seven, which will be enough we need for the entire run. Then four repels will get us through probably the next, like, 40 to 50 minutes, I would say. So, yeah. Pretty good. Clear in terms of movement, uh, in terms of fights, well, there's a couple of annoying fights. But everything is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, typically with Char, uh, all your difficult fights are early, uh, and the mid games are where it shines usually. Uh, with its extra attack, it tends to like make things uh, not a range where Blastoise it would be a range. Hey guys, I just want to interrupt real quick for one second here. I'm I'm gonna pass on the. Uh torch to Ash River, who's going to be taking over hosting for the next, uh, I don't know how many hours it is, but some some amount of time. Uh, so thank you for uh, the great show so far. Hopefully things go a bit better for you, Mockwing. Of course. And, uh, and uh, everybody enjoy the rest of the run, and uh, Ash River, it's all yours. Yeah, hi. Uh, yeah, it should be an interesting run. I'll be here for the next, I think, four hours, so... It'll be interesting to watch uh, Elite Four Round Two. This is one I was actually looking forward to. Yes. Welcome, Welcome. and thank you very much, Iron. Have a good night. And see you guys. Yes, thank you for hosting, Iron. Uh, really great job. You have a good night. Because we're gonna have a fire night. I don't know. That's pretty tired so yeah like just a bit ago uh during the uh host change mockwing did a run to bike uh it's another way that uh we can manipulate where spinners are looking um it's partially because uh bike movement is faster than walking but also because uh i think that specific one uh he turns up a little too soon uh so getting out of the bike uh would have been the only safe way uh to stop running and also you know make it past him yeah so uh fire leaf green bike is in is the canto equivalent of the acro bike so there's less acceleration time it doesn't have a, a fast top speed but and that means but the mm. slow one, the uh, lack of windup and acceleration means that there's a much quicker chance of just oh my gosh, of yeah, it's okay. Good thing you saved. Getting past that spinner. Oh yeah, I figured I would. Uh, so you're normally not in a position like this where you have high blaze. Uh, but that's ideal enough to keep it because it's uh, 12 and 16 range to Oko that Cubone with it. Yeah, and just don't die forehead. Yeah, and ideally you want to keep Blaze for Tunnel. Yeah, the slowpokes in this section are kind of annoying because uh, random AI, they can use Water Gun, which does a lot of damage. And also... Uh, a confusion doesn't do too much, but still, with Charmander having bad defenses, it doesn't. You know, it, it still does a decent amount. Because I, I still haven't gotten an extra revive. Confuse you. <laughs> yeah, and it's safe. Don't and it also die. takes way too many turns to kill, and mega kicks. Yeah, there's just no good alternatives. I've. If Charmeleon had access to a dark move like Bite that Squirtle has, it would just be so epic for the run. It'd be so good. Okay, we actually got Confusion exactly back into Blaze. Uh, Singular actually... plat for perfect Blaze. 
Thanks, Randall. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I'll be the I'll be the audience on the commentary. Oh wait. So when, uh, when this is they... Martha. Uh, it's a very hard fight, and I don't know why Mockwing didn't save. Uh, yeah, you like you? you know, it's it's a scary fight, especially because like you need torrent, and then if you're doing late surge, uh, bite plus uh, torrent water pulse is still only like 88% to kill. Yeah, something like that. Wait. Oh wait, hang on a sec. We're, we're talking oh, whoops! About I was I was watching. I was looking at the wrong notes. Whoopsie. Yeah. <laughs> all good. All good. I was doing the same too. So that's. But yeah, Martha is actually hard for Squirtle. Uh, I mean, if anyone knows your type type matchups, you would know that it's not so hard for Charmander. Yeah. This is technically an like an alternate hiker that we're fighting off of the main route, uh, but the one extra Pokemon he has is going to give us uh, some valuable experience. So yeah, so hit me with your best shot. I said hit me with your best shot. So there goes our blaze and we're going to hope for like a tackle or a bind. Rock throw's not ideal. Oh, actually... Oh. I think I had miscalc that in my notes then. Okay, oh, hey, that's actually perfect then. Uh, yeah, no, we this wanted looks to get... good. Yeah. We want blaze, but also deep enough blaze to keep it for a couple more levels, so... It's pretty solid. Unfortunately, yeah, Hiker good. Eric says fired away at the end of the fight instead of fired away. I don't know why. Well, because he I got fired know. away. Maybe it actually would have been real copyright. <laughs> Maybe. If I get a uh, PSR TV MC8, I'm sorry. I mean, realistically, on Charmander, he got extra fired away because you are a fire type. True. Right about that. Yeah, so normally you would think fire bad against rock. Uh, but because the stats on this Charmeleon are so crazy, and Geodude just has such naturally low special defense, uh, in Blaze, it completely makes up for, uh, it's, like, having half of its damage knocked out. Oh, come on. Yeah, uh, I believe Geodude doesn't have very good special death, uh, so the 1.5x boost is enough to account for the type disadvantage. It's time to show off uh, why we went through all these hoops and hurdles and why we fought Surge, uh, I don't even know how many times. Oh, Over many nope. times we did fight him. Ooh. That was scary. All right, yeah. So with that extra experience, we have now hit level 32. Uh, and right before Hiker Dudley, which uh, a bad fight, he has a Graveler, which isn't great. So we're gonna use two candies now to get to level 34, where we learn Flamethrower. We can now say goodbye to Mega Kick. We're gonna repel again as well. 07 for Mega Kick. Uh, we will miss that move. Literally. <laughs> you usually do. I didn't even think about making that pun. I, I just said it. I'm like, wait a second. Wait a second. I'm a genius. <laughs> Alright, yeah. So this Graveler, uh, normally, like, even with Rick Break, is a two shot, and you have to random AI hope well, you, you get not Rock Throw or not Magnitude. 
uh, both flamethrower, even without blaze, it'll just get one shot. There, Mockwing did another run to bike, but hopped right back off the bike because the the bike music takes a long time to load, and app music also takes a while to load. So, getting off that bike saves us a little bit of audio lag, and we're on our way out of Rock Tunnel. Yeah, this is a speed run after all. It's all about the little time saves. I I died to surge four times, but I'm gonna save about forty frames. Of audio. I mean, that basically makes up a little bit of the time, so, like, you've just got another, like, um, I don't know, I, I, I can't really translate, you know, maybe, like, four or five minutes into frames here, but, you know. Gamer's at 30 FPS, right? We wish. Uh, 59 point, like, something. Basically 60. Yeah, it, it, it's roughly 60. I think it's like 7, 5 or, or something. Uh, like 7, 2, 7, 5. 7, yeah. 2, 7, 5. Yeah, that sounds right. Alright, so we got the good version of this fight. Uh, those Clefairies have a move called Follow Me, which is, uh, in single battles, uh, literally a pointless move, but it does have priority, so uh, you'll always see it before your move if it's used. Yeah, free five seconds of time loss, you love to see it. But hey, didn't see it, so we take those. Also, something to note is that Mockwing did not enter the Lavender Center, but he did enter the uh, uh, the power plant route center. I don't know what, what route it is. Uh, reasoning being is entering and exiting the center registers it as a center on your map, but by just simply going into Lavender Town, the Lavender Center is, is registered as a fly point. Uh, Xarian's Charmander route would actually enter the center because we need that as our teleport warp point, but because Mockwing went through the trouble of fighting and beating Surge already, he can just go ahead and fly to wherever he wants to go, exiting Teladon City. We'll be in here for a while because Turns out, fire types have a type advantage against grass types. So we're actually going to do story stuff and also get a gym badge. Not something that Charm uh, that Squirtle would do. Also, yeah. going around and picking up some stuff for round two. Here's a nice little coin case, which lets us do some gambling in the game. Except we're not actually going to do that. Unfortunate. Then, yeah. After all of what we've done in chat, we don't actually gamble. It's kind of a shame. Also, there's a PP up out here in the middle of nowhere. Now let's go fight Erica. Yeah, this is, uh, as a fire type, just a free gym. You know, it's all take a second to laugh at Squirtle for a second. Haha, uh -huh, Squirtle. You have to ha, use Blizzard. Imagine using Blizzard. Well, actually, in round two, Squirtle did Blizzard. Right. Imagine needing imagine. Torrent, lol. It doesn't, but you do need to wait for... Imagine needing... You need to be blind. And yeah, get a badge boost. Like so many things. They, like, detour to random, uh, random, like, fusion trips because of this. Like, come on. Yeah, like, why don't you just walk there, just pull up, and absolutely destroy everything? Yeah, exactly. Although I will say, That's Squirtle's fast. technically faster because you don't have to deal with super effective attacks. Still do. Okay. Well, not very effective attacks at some of though. So... Thinking emoji. I don't know. Anyways. Oh, well, I guess, yeah, Execute does have the super effective attacks with Bite anyways, for Gore. Yeah, and then you have the not very effective texts on like, uh, I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> How do I not know what they're called? Wild Plume uh, and uh, Victory Bell. Yeah, those. Thank you. And I feel like this is just going to become like a 
Who's that Pokemon? Especially come to Safari Zone. Oh yeah, we're gonna see hopefully a lot of different Pokemon Safari Zone. Hopefully all of them, and they all get caught. This fight, uh, very free. Just click on a fire move and win. Uh, except for this one, you need to click on Flamethrower for sure. Shoutouts to Vileplume's special death. Yes. Uh, but with that experience, we have now hit level 36. It's a very so... special level. Yeah, what might happen? I don't know, I think you should press B. <laughs> yeah, something dangerous might happen. I've you done might that need to road. Back out I, I've it. gone down that road a couple of different times. <laughs> I'd be so, traumatized yeah. after the first. We're, we're evolving into Charizard. Uh, Charizard also learns Wing Attack upon evolution, so we're gonna be that. Uh, for those of you who really like moves that aren't 100% accurate, uh, we'll get back to you in a sec. Let's put it that yeah. way. Hang on to that thought. <laughs> well, there's too much that accuracy we've gotten... here. Don't worry, it's okay. It'll, it'll more than be made up for later. And we have so got... many low stakes misses as well. Don't worry. We'll, oh, we'll yeah. up the ante <laughs> a little bit as we head head along in this run. Charizard has a very solid mid game. We didn't say anything about its end game. <laughs> it has an end game. It exists. Uh, so yeah, the other reason why we wanted to fight Surge early, other than his valuable experience, uh, was the money uh, between himself and his minion. I believe it's like over $4,000 you get from that gym alone. Uh, so fighting him early and having that money on you makes it so that way you can afford not just uh, the uh, coins for Clefairy and Abra, but also the coins thousand for thousand to gamble away. I mean, what? <laughs> maybe. If we're still under estimate, maybe some gambling. But Surge has made that a challenge. A challenge that you'll uh, definitely complete. Oh, yeah. I'm not worried yet. Finished underestimate challenge. <laughs> if you think PSR you've Marathon seen the worst of Char... Is this the room? Yeah. Okay, so we're actually going to be skipping this item. No black glasses. Sad. No blind mid game. You don't get to look cool. It's okay, we'll still look fire. True. We'll still be blazing hot. In fact, we'll have an item to make us even hotter. I don't, I don't know how it works. I don't even want to know. Anyways, uh... All these fights are pretty easy. Regardless of whether you have blaze or not, but... Having blaze is nice. Also, wing attack lets you save some fire-type PP. That's pretty nifty, I would say. Then we'll be fighting Giovanni. Which actually won't even be that bad, either. Despite the type disadvantage. Yeah, in mid to late, or well, really just mid game, Charizard holds its own like really well against type disadvantages, like better than one would think. Its high attack really does help, plus uh, a, a little special item that's going to be coming up after this. Yeah, and Flamethrower is actually a pretty high powered move as well. Ember is 40 base power. Flamethrower. Just a tad bit more than 40, I would say. 
Also, nice calcium, a uh, very important item. Those of you who don't know what it does, it uses your base special attack. It gives you like 10 EVs in special attack. It's not are used gonna be for money in this, this category. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, that, that is an important distinction between the routes. Squirtle uh, makes do with its mediocre special attack. Uh, but this is Charmander. We're trying to push the limits of uh, what fire can do. So need a, that, we just need a little, a little bit of PEDs. Just yeah, a little. It's, it's better for Charizard to set up less. Squirtle can get away with it because Blastoise can really take hits. Charizard doesn't exactly get that luxury, so you need to go with like as little setup as you can. Yeah, and also, even max setup and struggle as we get later in the game. Because there's a lot of pokes in this game that have Intimidate, which means visible attacks are not going to be very useful, so we're just going to be spamming a lot of special attacks, which means fire moves, which means any pokes are going to resist said fire moves. Uh, but so far we've seen a lot of them already, but they've been lower special defense. That won't be the case the later we get in the run, so yeah, just a little preview of what's to come. Uh, we won't be worrying too much about that for a while. It's gonna be some more pressing matters, I would say, coming up soon. Also, in Giovanni's room, there's a hidden net ball and a hidden nest ball, so we're going to be picking those balls up. They're going to be helpful for catching stuff. So, yeah. It's a Giovanni fight. Okay, so these rock types, uh, actually, Onyx can give you a little bit of trouble if you're not in Blaze. Uh, out of Blaze, he's an 8 or 9 out of 16 range, depending on your special attack. Uh, but in Blaze, this fight's really cool because... Okay, well, crit doesn't matter. Uh, with the extra level you have here, it's a 13 and 16 range to Oko that can go. Ooh, gold split in a marathon. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. Good job, let's, let's go. You're gonna need to continue it. <laughs> Keep that Surge. streak going. Alright, so time to escape rope out. And then we're gonna do a little bit of uh, shopping and also picking up items. Actually, maybe not that part. So let's buy a fairy and an Abra. And then let's go and gamble away those 1,000 coins. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're gonna just buy this charcoal here. Yeah. Uh, Xarian's route takes an extra fly trip and, like, a coin buying trip to get the charcoal, but Aquaman went ahead and made that part of the route, so we're gonna be getting fly now. Yes, for the uh, for the uninitiated, uh, charcoal gives a uh, boost to all fire type moves used. I believe it's either t I think it's ten percent, right, or is it twelve? I want to say 10. 10 sounds right. 10 sounds right, yeah. It's um, not much, but it's important. Yeah, it'll it'll really help for some ranges later. Yeah, it is uh, 10%. Oh, yeah, I, I do want to say one thing that I need to watch out for. In the practice run, I accidentally candied cheating. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Yeah. Going Charcoal from is, two uh, candy pokes to one. <laughs> Charcoal's 10% in this game. It's 20% in all the others past this generation. Alright, people have it. Good and I'll use Zoomer Gens. Alright, whatever. We, we all have it easy. harder and better. Better at this. Nah. Anyways, this is Lavender Rival. It's not a hard fight at all. Not with a fully evolved starter. So, and Flamethrower. So yeah, Squirtle doesn't have Surf at this point, uh, and it also takes a shopping trip. Charizard can delay that shopping trip, at least for a little bit, uh, but since it has a 
base power stab move. Uh, we don't need any X items for this fight. It's just click flamethrower and win. And in tower, we're also going to finally have uh, another chance at catching a Pokemon. It's been like an hour or so, but... But don't worry. Don't worry. Many things have happened in this one hour. And uh, in the next hour, we're going to do a lot of Pokemon catching. Uh, or the many hopefully. things that happened was Surge. Okay, Surge, Surge, uh, like, aged me like a few years in PSR years, in my opinion. I don't know about you two. I don't have enough experience with early Surge. I have no experience with early Surge, and I was aging anyways. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so yeah, this is the Lavender Rival. It's not a hard fight at all. And we're going to be taking a free heal here in Lavender as well, so... Uh, the low HP is going to be going away. The low PP is also going away, and... Yeah, you we happen to be taking... annoyed by that uh, red beeping sound. Red uh, bar. This is your time. I miss yeah. red bar, I want it back. Oh, we'll get it back, don't worry. Then, if anyone wants to spam the red bar, copy, pause, and kappa. Don't actually. Like, we're not going to be in red bar for a while. Oh, perfect. Curse is exactly what you want to see. Curse. Yeah, nice so uh, Curse makes... Uh, I think Nest Ball here is now guaranteed. Oh, yeah, we, yeah it should have been Nest Ball. Yeah. So... Okay. That's fine. You got, it got in, right? <laughs> it, it did, right? Uh, it will now. It sure, <laughs> sure did in the next ball. Okay. That, 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 that works, too. Yes. Uh, yeah, if you land uh, back on the Ghastly, then you actually can Great Ball it and have it be guaranteed. Not having the Great Ball here isn't the end of the world. Uh, it, like, there are circumstances where you'd use it on uh, Spiro instead. So it's not yeah. a huge deal. Also, it's time to do some menuing now that we need a menu to repel. So let's just do that. And get through the rest of tower. Fights are going to be very easy. Main thing after the free heal is going to be uh, make sure you observe your PP or manage it correctly, and then everything is fine. So yeah, right right before the heal pad, you saw me do uh, a slight pause, and then I actually uh, brought up the start menu right before the spinner, so I did a pause pass, and what I did was I lined myself up with the spinner's clock, so that way when I brought up my start menu, it was at a time where that spinner had to decide to spin or not uh, in one of its four directions. So the pass was safe after uh, the check that it hadn't spun. It's a bit of a technique that I believe came from the DS community because in the DS community, actually opening a menu doesn't really reset the timer, so just opening the pause menu is what you would use to check if it's a safe pass or not. So, doing that there. Unfortunately, you can't run in Lavender Tower, otherwise, you'd probably do something with that. But it's all good. Uh, Fights are continuing to be not hard at all, so think about any of it. And uh, Mockwing, how uh, how ready are you for for <laughs> some of the, the upcoming sections of the run? My favorite I'm segment is the next. Excited. Uh, I'm ready though. That Marowak crit's very good because flamethrower isn't a guaranteed Oko there. Yeah, that Marowax uh, got 30 across the board in IVs. Um, so even like even on Blastoise, a Torrent Water Pulse is required to Oko it. Mm 
Now, top floor, turns out Team Rocket's been up behind the, this whole Marowak thingamajigger, which, considering that they were the ones that held the Soul Scope, is probably not that surprising. Yeah, the Grunts are not a hard fight at all. Oh. I'm so shocked, I, I don't know. Look at that useless kid in crit. Also, we're uh, just walking straight up uh, in this room. All the rockets are to the side, and normally with trainers, you're going to want to talk to them if you can, because it'll be faster. But uh, since in the tower, it restricts your movement to just walking. And because the rockets also walk out of the room after you fight them, it is faster to just walk uh, straight up the middle. Uh, have them walk to you at the beginning of the battle, and then they just walk straight down to end it. Oh, wait. I needed a not ember, but it's okay. This boy's guess miss. That should have been wing attack. Wing attack is a no co there on the drowsy. Oh god, prediction should be like over under breakouts in Safari, but I don't even know what's like. Zero breakout Safari. What? That, that's definitely Maybe not, not, not that. Right? <laughs> Zero breakout safari. It's gonna happen. Trust me. You can you can add that option specifically for me. I'll put all, all not all my points. I don't I don't want to do something that stupid. <laughs> so yeah, coming up is the safari zone. Uh, there's a, a little video. bit of movement beforehand, but yeah, let's uh let's watch some epic execution and then some epic breakout. I mean catches. I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna see a chancy catch. Trust me. There was a chance to catch in the race last week. We'll lucky see egg? We'll see it again. The sad part about the lucky egg is like it comes so late that it's not even worth it compared to the to the charcoal. Like I know. Yeah. That would have been cool though. It would Same been for fun. any percent as well. Like any percent task, like literally nothing can use the, the lucky egg. Other than to, I guess, brag that, haha, -ha, people, I caught a chancy, and I also got like the 10% chancy. I don't even know. Doesn't matter. This is the poke flute. I think wait, lucky egg is wait, five. Uh, oh gosh. Eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. It. This is the poke flute. It wakes sleeping Pokemon, which means we can go past that sleeping Snorlax if you remember it while we were going to get fly. Uh, after that, go to Cycling Road. Okay. Snorlax is taking a snooze. I don't think we should wake him up. That'd be kind of mean. Hurts critters blocking the way. Right. And the delayed shop is now done at this point. Now that we got a little extra money from the tower. We're gonna sell the PP up and the nugget, and then buy all of our X items here. It's gonna be a lot. Also, gonna get some other items. Uh, in any percent, you would only get X items because who cares about anything else on the department store? Like, it's literally faster to buy your pels in a different mark and with because the stairs take so long, but Belladon offers some stuff that we need in round two, and we're not going to get it anywhere else, so we're going to actually get it here, and that's Evolutionary Stones. Yeah, these are definitely su like super valuable just in general, but especially with uh, Charmander not having access to as, like nearly as many candies. Yeah, it becomes very important that you have evolutionary stones and books to use said stones on. So, time for uh, the Snorlax. The Snorlax can also be shiny, by the way. Just putting Damn, it out more there. like Will. You're right, it will. 
There's potentially another shot later, but probably not. I mean, all of the we encounter a lot of Pokemon in Elite Four Round Two, so there is a chance that you would get a shiny. Uh, not as much as in the run coming up after after us here, but some movement. When was the uh, last time you saw a shiny in a run? I think uh, it was probably a couple of months ago during my any percent grind. I know I found a shiny spear on Route Four. Nice. <laughs> Literally, when you don't want a Spiro and it turns out shiny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Sparkle Lantern, by the way. He's a uh, PSR's resident shiny hunter. He had that exact scenario happen, just on a different route. I had uh, two shinies in my uh, catch 'em all run. <laughs> How many encounters did you have in that get in that run? Uh, a few. A few. Okay. A few hundred. I, uh... <laughs> A few hundred, huh? My last shiny was in an Elite Four Round 2 race, funny enough. Actually, probably in Let's Go, but Let's Go shinies aren't the same as in game, so we don't really count that here. Also, here's Super Happy Fun Land to use That a, saves a, a candy. candy. If yeah, it catches. Come on. Yes. Okay, Nidorino is angry. And That's really is good. Angry. Catching that is incredible, because now uh, Mockwing has a candy that he can use on some random Pokemon, uh, which is a big oh, deal. Oddish. Oddish. Oh, yeah, there's, or... uh, there's only two spare candies on this route, so you plan to use both on the Nidos that you're going to catch in Safari. So if you catch a Nidorino, then you get to save that candy what? for a different Pokemon. Uh, coming up later. Wow. Uh, Shep, did you bless this run? Bro. Zero, zero breakouts on a so good, far, like, a good two of the safari hardest Safari in a marathon. Uh, so... Also, these encounters are really good, too. Yeah, Nito Reno well. and Rhyhorn are unique encounters at that, but also, like, not great catch rates, so getting them both uh, first try is incredible. Yeah, and you're also, so we also use rocks on pokes that are harder to catch because it'll make it, in theory, easier to catch. But that also increases their chance of just fleeing. Also, Nidorino, so, or Nidoran male's nice. Sorry. Yeah, so when it comes to using rock, and uh, I mean, also on the same note, bait, but we don't do that in this run. Um, So, it's, it's kind of funny. Uh, rock is actually like super worth because uh, turn one... Uh, or I should say, whether it flees is determined uh, at the start of the turn, not uh, you know after you do whatever you do. So if you throw a rock, its chance to run turn one is unaffected, but its chance to run turn two is. I didn't know that. Yeah, this is... Uh... Here's where the... Counters start to show up over and over again, and all sorts of things, so... Almost got out of the route of the area, but... Ooh, okay. This would be nice. Yeah, eggs is a big deal. Okay. It's a stone evolution. Um, But if you don't get it in Safari, there is a, uh, what, 5 or 10% chance in Berry Forest, so... Yeah, you basically just don't see it. You can get lucky. I've seen it. Have? I I uh, always see it when I've already caught it. I saw it once when I needed it. Uh, but I usually um well when I first started running round two I stalled for eggs, but now it's uh I've just been getting lucky and getting eggs. So now we're taking a detour. This area we don't actually have to go through. Every other place that we've gone to so far in Safari Zone we actually have to go through for our story purposes. Uh, this area is a detour, but there's some helpful items in the way along the way here, and also some Pokemon that we really like catching, so it's nice. Let's see a Tauros. I think that'd be funny. Tauros. Also, these uh, three shake breakouts kind of suck. Yeah. Not ideal. If a Pokemon's gonna break out, like, it's really likely for it to just break out immediately or break out after a certain number of shakes, so uh, the slowest option is not the option you want to see. Yeah, you're, you you kind of had, like, 
about the same Doduo that I usually have in like every single run ever, and I don't know why specifically Doduo, because it's the same catch rate as Paris, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I think it might be... I gotta check on that, hold on. It might... I think it's worse, but Paris is the one that gives me the most fits. Ooh, a Venom Moth! Alright, are you gonna catch that? No, alright. No, I'm... Yeah, they're really have thrown a rock because it'd be funny. ...for female Nido, eggs, or Venonat. Really rare encounters tend to have such bad catch rates that it's just not even worth throwing a rock. You just run self instead of giving them the chance to run from you. These encounters aren't. But hey, if you I get a chance Venomoth or something, would same... you just kill the ball? Okay, there we go. And then that, a very important poke. Yeah, trade nice. Pokemon are like also massive, again, with Charmander specifically. Oh yeah. Okay, perfect. Now we leave. And that is a nice poke in that it's actually a trade poke. So, pretty nice. So, let's see. Is there anything useful for you on your way out? Like Paris, I guess? Paris yeah, and Paris. eggs are both useful. Oh, you don't have eggs, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And Nid Arena if you see it. Yeah. Be seeing it right now. We're gonna give one more encounter. Nah, nothing. Nothing okay. at all. We're gonna move on. Because eggs could be caught later. Copium. Copium. Hopefully. That's and just copium there. I think will. That that would be kind of a funny prediction though. Execute in Berry Forest. Berry Forest or Bond Bridge? Berry Forest? I think it's it's Forest, it should be. Alright. Yeah, that makes the chances a little better. I say a little because I still don't believe in it at all. I'm a believer. So yeah, it's time to fly on out of here. We're gonna head over to Celadon. Because we're now gonna enter Saffron City. And we haven't entered it yet, because we did Early Surge. So, turning in the T. So, there's a lot of uh, high-value items in Sylph, uh, so we're going to be picking up quite a few. I meant to send you that picture with, or the pictures of the uh, items in Sylph, because uh, yeah, no, that PP up is definitely slower than the HP up in uh, on 10F. Don't worry, because I'm grabbing both. Oh, okay, <laughs> epic. Oh my gosh. Uh, so this is a spinner that we're going to be passing three times, and you can't do any run setups because of the way that Sylph is laid out. So just have to bag with it. Yeah, the only safe pass is a bag minute pass on that particular spinner. Also, another stark difference. I'm actually going to save here. Uh, not super likely to die here, but if I get crit on a specific turn, I can just lose the fight. Uh... One route change, actually something that you'll see in the Squirtle route, is normally they'll split EXP on this fight uh, with one of the bugs, as well as on the next fight. Uh, and Exorion's Charmander route does that as well. Wait, no, I need to go down. Uh, but with early Flamethrower, you need a little bit <clears throat> of extra EXP uh, here for the mid game, uh, but you still have a surplus of EXP later on when you're about to enter victory road so instead for this route we just uh swap it so that way you evolve both bugs uh through geo's gym and then you can evolve uh, you can get the last set of experience from a wild or uh from the final rival fight okay water gun that turn is exactly what you want to see Yeah, luckily, Blaze plus Charcoal plus plus Special Attack Nature plus 
30, uh, like 30 out of 31 IV uh, leaves your fire moves really, really powerful. So even though uh, Rival has a Blastoise on this fight uh, and is a full on type disadvantage, uh, Flamethrower makes up most of that. Yeah. And. 90% you would actually use Flamethrower as that first turn on the Blastoise, but here... Uh, but the Blastoise knows Protect, and in round 2 you need every single Flamethrower that you can possibly get, because you also don't want to be blowing through all of your PP items, so... Getting all of that power boost to be able to Wing Attack and then Flamethrower it is really important. Also, here's a Lapras, very bulky Pokemon, very important Pokemon, and and a potential ability that it had it can have is Water Absorb. So it's a pretty nice nature to have, or a pretty nice poke to have. Also, it's just so love to see it. Yeah, can never say no to a free poke. Why not? Add it to the squad. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why not is not in this game. Actually, it is. I mean, it but... is. Yes. <laughs> But not it's in not, this category. It's not a sick. It's not part of your sixty pokes. It can't be part of the sixty pokes, unfortunately. That is correct. So shout out to a wing attack that uh, Drazzy. Do I save? No. Do you have revived? double revived up? Actually, I'm triple revived up. So. If you think you need to be picked, just go say, you could probably do like a, an Oran if you want to be safe, but like, who cares? Just don't die, forehead. The door is open, Kappa. Yeah, I'm worried about Oran because I might love a lot of Blaze uh, for Koga. Because we're going to be carrying this Blaze hopefully all the way through to the next two gyms. So yeah, we're right. gonna be fighting Giovanni, we're gonna give it a turn, so uh, let's uh, not get hit for too much damage. Also random AI, which doesn't really make sense, because Giovanni is like a scary trainer and all that, but until he because Well, he's the boss of Team <laughs> Rocket, he's uh, kind of lame. He's a random trainer, apparently. So, Tail Whip. Uh, that didn't do a lot of damage, I gotta say, so... Through the fight, and now we'll be heading on to Sabrina. Oh, Mockwing looks like he's at kind of low HP. Are you sure Tailwhip didn't do any, uh, damage? <laughs> Did it do emotional damage? Uh, very much. I think, I think, uh, Surge did all of that, though, so... Anyways, we're done with Giovanni. It's gonna be a while before we fight Erica or Sabrina, excuse me. Uh, because we're going to be picking up some items, including a really good ball. Oh no, I forgot to do something on one of the bag menus earlier, which was Evolve the CV. Before it goes in the PC. <laughs> but it's not that big of a time loss to just evolve it here. So yeah, say goodbye to uh, Vanilla Eevee, say goodbye to Swift, uh, say hello to Fire Swift, uh, one with hello, our fire, of Swift. fire types. Uh, yeah, Flareon just has the shortest cry, so... Yeah, you don't have to... Actually, that's just the thing, huh? You could buy an extra Thunderstone instead, or you could buy an extra Waterstone. Waterstone would take a couple of inputs. Or, uh, Firestone's a little bit less text, and Flareon doesn't talk for a long time. Yeah, we're gonna head all the way back up, uh, go, go to the elevator, and then head over to 10th floor. Unfortunately, by the time we get the ability to breed in this game, uh, we already need to hit 60. Interesting theory, though. Oh, 
Wow, escape ropes right below antidotes. Yeah, the shopping for Charmander is very different from with Squirtle, which means the escape ropes are in a completely different spot. It doesn't feel very good in the post game once we eventually get there, uh, but right now it's actually not that bad of a placement. The menus are. Uh, bag management isn't something we do a crazy amount of. We do a little bit of menu optimization and all that, but. For the most part, items are going to go somewhere, and sometimes really weird spots because the way Gen 3 menus work, if you get some quirks to trigger, I guess. Uh, this is the Sabrina fight. It's a very easy fight, so I'm not really going to talk about it. And yeah, coming up after it is... Uh, it's actually not even a harder fight. I'm going to pretend it is, though, because I don't want to sound interesting. I don't know. Anyways. I mean, yeah, with Blaze, uh, these fights are pretty much just, like, mash to win. It's a pretty, pretty free segment, uh, thankfully, because, uh, I guess, like, Torrent, Squirtle, Sabrina is fine, but Koga is still kind of annoying. Yeah, definitely, I mean... Charizard holds its own even if it didn't have Charcoal by this point. Uh, yeah. But with Charcoal, it just absolutely destroys all of these gyms. Like, so much better. Even if it's at, like, close to an equal level. Yeah. Getting Calm Mind as a TM, which in very niche cases is actually useful for Squirtle, but couldn't care less about it. If, if we're, like, especially desperate for money, we actually would be willing to sell it. Uh, hopefully we don't get to that point. And also, we're going to be trading for a Nidoran female. Uh, a Miss Nido, in fact. Uh, bold nature. And it'll, we're going to evolve it into Nidoqueen, and it'll be a very important Pokemon for us. Uh, very comically so, I would say. Yeah. I love Miss Nido. One of my favorite parts of this run, actually. One of the silliest ones, because as far as Shep would know. I don't remember what what happened to me, but uh, yeah, kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, no, for you it's just because uh, Shep, shoutouts to Shep. He, uh, not the uh, biggest early for Round two Charizard runner. He's a big round two runner, and he's like the only catch em all runner in this game. But he doesn't do a whole lot of Charizard. Yeah, my striking inability to read the notes uh, really, really did damage to me on that race. I will we'll say those those notes. Not your fault. Yeah. I mean, like half of the half of the notes issues were my fault because uh, you know, like I said inability to read but uh yeah there, there were some situations where i uh got kind of messed up by some some incorrect things in the notes so yeah let's uh let's thank shep for i'm gonna spin this in a positive way for playtesting monkwing's notes and reviewing it <laughs> he actually did really well i, I, I was i was the Monk test subject the yeah we were both doing it and you still you finished ahead of me actually in the test run yeah <laughs> Honestly, this one, this run outside of Surge has gone for really well. So, yeah, definitely. I probably shouldn't say that right now, but you're doing. You well. can, you can say it. You won't jinx the run. Trust me. All right. Okay, so this was where I made my mistake earlier. Accidentally, we're candying chitting. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't recommend uh, doing that. Don't do that. Yes. Time to level up a little bit. At level 45, and then also get a Nido Queen while we're at it. Right? Am I, am yeah. I just too much of a yes. boomer? Okay, okay. Uh... So, yeah, um, the Squirtle route after Koga uses Eevee as like a, a weakener for the upcoming catching sections. 
Uh, but the Charmander route uses Miss Nito. Uh, Miss Nito is a pretty valuable Pokemon because it has uh, a lot of different moves that you could use to damage because it knows bite, it has uh, stab poison sting, uh, and you can teach it moves like Surf and Strength, which yeah. are very important. I remember now, yeah, I thought over bite in the race. Oh, I remember in the race when when you saw Teach Surf and Miss Nito, you were just laughing super hard. It was pretty funny though. I wasn't expecting it. I I, I unironically thought we were gonna teach Surf to Lapras, uh, but then I like read a little bit further and I was like, oh, that's that's going on Nito Queen. <laughs> yeah. Because I did yeah. the race uh, without having actually read the notes beforehand or doing any practice, uh, so it could just be a little bit more natural. The race was the practice. And also the last run that I'll probably do for a while. What? What? Wait, wait, wait. The what face? How dare you? Why are you even being <laughs> Uh, Koga's free with Blaze. Koga's Muck and Weezing are bulky pokes, but... We have enough levels, we have Charcoal, we have Blaze, we have actual special attack on our Pokémon, so... And Thor is gonna just one-shot them. Any percent, you could actually like, two-shot it and just hope to not die. And with Blast Toys, you're doing this fight at like level 39, which means you have a better chance at flinching the wheezing with bite than actually one one-shotting it with surf. Anyways, that's uh, that's Koga. We get TM06. Uh, and yeah, we're not going to use it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm just saying, we're not going to use it. Anyways, uh... <laughs> also, while we're in Fuchsia, we're going to go get some really helpful items. So, we also have Erica's gym badge, just to remind y'all of that. Saves a fly that we would have had to do otherwise. Miss Nito. So yeah, time to teach Miss Nito some moves. You know, I don't care what you say, it's still funny. Oh yeah, it's definitely funny. I agree on that. Oh yeah, I love I love having Miss Nito as the surfer and the strengther. Yeah, and this and the crazy thing is like we're gonna probably bring Apris into our party, and we're still not gonna teach it strength, because we have Miss Nito already. Lapras has other uses. Yep. Yeah, uh, if you're a Lapras fan, yeah. please hold out. <laughs> There's still more Lapras to come. Don't worry, we'll teach Lapras some more HMs, just like you would in a lot of other runs, for example, Yellow or something. Anyways, it's time to go fly. Never mind, we're gonna go shopping first. Sorry about that. <laughs> yes, we need Ultra Balls. Uh, because... They, you know, give a nice little 2x boost on, you know, or compared to Quite normal great. Pokeballs. Yeah. So, selling that protein, and the PP up, and the HP up, we don't actually need the Carbos on this speed, so we're also selling that too. So, loading up on Ultra Balls is, uh, yeah, it's gonna be helpful. Also, we're gonna get some other stuff, some Great Balls as backups, because... Uh, Charizard is actually pretty good at weakening stuff into Great Ball range, uh, so I'm gonna do that. Also get some Max Repels. We're getting full heals. Yeah, just in case. Plain okay. moment. Time we're, to fly. We're still playing safely. So now we get to go over to the power plant. Uh, <laughs> AKA, try not to get 12th encounter Pikachu, thank you. Ooh, that could be a prediction. I have gotten 12th Encounter Pikachu, I think on multiple occasions, and I've only finished, like, maybe eight round two runs. It happens a lot. Like, I've I had believe it that's multiple times. that's actually a good tentacle. If I'm not that's mistaken. That's cool at 17, that's actually not bad. Yeah, because I think it only knows three moves. I believe it learns its fourth move at level 18, so, like... 
literally lucked out by a level. Also, as you see, we have a lot of different balls, and we have a Master Ball. Uh, the Squirtle Rot would use it after catching all 60 pokes, because it'd be going to get Mewtwo. Uh, the whole idea of doing Charizard is to not get Mewtwo, so we're not going to use the Master Ball on, Char on Mewtwo. Are we going to use the Master Ball on? Uh, we're going to find out in the next uh, hour or so. So yeah, there's a number of Pokemon that you can use the Master Ball on. Uh, two of them are in Power Plant, that being either Magneton or uh, Electabuzz. Speaking of... Wait, are you hey, look at that, that's the Magneton. Well, goodbye uh, Master Ball, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I guess or, or you get can some... spoil get the, uh, the other encounters that could go Master Ball, which would be, what, Muck, Onyx... Uh, Muck? Or I mean, Weezing. My bad. I'm using, thinking. My, yeah. I'm on Leaf Green Brain. Man, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Leaf oh yeah. Green, why are we all. on? So why fair. are we on Fire Red? By the way. Uh, I know that Clefairy is cheaper in Fire Red. Um, other than that, I don't remember. Yeah, that's actually the only thing. <laughs> it also helps for Charizard routes, or like Charizard, or or some other non-Squirtle routes because there's more pokes with Intimidate. In this game. Uh, so, just for a little bit of Leap 4 Round 2 history, uh, back in my. I'm, I'm not even that old, actually, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, the first few routes would actually go here to Power Plant and use the Master Ball on Zapdos. Uh, that's because, like, Nip was not a thing that was in this game for a very long time, so. Yeah. But we have Manip, so we can actually get like decent Blastoises and decent Charizards as well. So we don't use that anymore. We just use the starter for Elite Four Round One, and then in Blastoises' case, it still can't do anything to Round Two. So we go get two. But Charizard, with a little bit of extra candying and a little bit of extra help, can actually take care of it. Aquing's getting something other than the Pikachu as well, Ford so he's and getting Magnemite a full Both here. is actually really nice uh, because of the, you know, lack of candies. So, you know, like, every encounter helps a ton. Yeah. The waiting but, for the most there's... valuable one. Yeah, Pikachu is uh, worth three Pokemon because you can Stone Evolve it to Raichu and then treat it for an Electrode. Um, so it's worth staying for the 25% Pikachu. Oh my gosh, this is taking a while though. Got a yeah, lot of good pokes out of it. The Pika. So sure we don't have a Master Ball anymore and we're losing our patience. Let's Ooh. put it nicely. Okay. Not too bad. Got it? Oh. oh my gosh. Still not Pika. It's okay. Topium. Uh, but this is round two. Round two can be extremely random because, like, you obviously need to fill this 60 poke catch requirement. Uh, and that's a lot of different unique Pokemon to catch throughout the game. Uh, at times, it can be difficult to even find, like, enough catching sections to reasonably get 60. Yeah, especially so, with yeah. Charizard. Yeah, yeah, it's really important. Like, if you can catch extra Pokemon in the section that you're in, or if you happen to be lucky enough to encounter them, like, it's really important to catch them. Oh my gosh. So we're seeing, uh, Miss Nito is not exactly the fastest of Pokemon, so even though it outlevels Voltorb, Voltorb's pretty fast, so... Yeah, that is one place where Eevee really did shine, because uh, Runaway is a really good ability for when, you know, there are a lot of Pokémon like Magneton and uh, Voltorb that would outspeed. Yeah, and especially because Eevee would get paralyzed a lot, but but who cares about paralysis? Who cares about your speed? You have Runaway. But Miss Nito is having a little bit of trouble right now finding a Pikachu to fight, which is a little unfortunate. But it's okay. Oh. Level right. 34 Magneton faster. <laughs> Sad. Switch in Charizard and get some experience, Kappa. I know, get the special attack EVs here. 
Okay. Uh, Pikachu is a 25% encounter in power plus. Yes, yes. Well, you know, I guess uh, 12 encounters is looking like a you know small number now, apparently. I think my personal record is 14, but I, I can't remember what number we're on. Yeah, I wish I was we counting. Can, we can check back later, it's all good. I think we've passed it, though. <laughs> to uh, Elite Four Round 2, everybody. I yes. hope you are enjoying stay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Got it? I'm gonna, gonna poison Pika. Sting so that way Crit can't kill it. Yay! Oh, and poison. Easy. Easy clap. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, so that happened, and now we're gonna head on out of here. That was certainly one of the power plants. Yeah. Oh, uh, everyone has been electrified by a stunning show of RNG. Yes. And... Yeah. We're gonna fly on out of here. We're gonna head... Back to Pewter City, actually. Gym refights aren't a thing in this game, but oh, we're not actually going to say hi to Brock. We're going to go get some useful items, though. Yeah, the first of which is this scientist who demands that we get his old Amber checked out at a lab. Which he will gladly do, because that means a free Pokémon. I also have the Helix Fossil, by the way, if anyone has been keeping track. That'll also be a free Pokemon. Now yeah, we here, head down uh, to... If Mockwing hadn't gotten uh, both bugs, uh, is, here is where you would actually have gone into uh, Forest uh, yeah. for the, uh, you know, revisit. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get a Diglett. And we get one, alrighty. Right, Dug Trio is another uh, Pokemon that you can use the Master Ball on. Yeah, and these folks have Arena Trap and they're fast, so. Oh shoot. If you get Dug Trio, it could be a little unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, you would hope to have the Master Ball still. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but... and normally you would, uh, but Magneton, you know. Two Magnetons decided to show up before Pikachu. Uh, Anyways, while we're here on Route 2, we're going to go into this house and trade for a uh, minion. Okay. okay, I do have everything marked correctly. Mimian. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm calling it Mimian, because that's what I said the first time. Yeah, I, I say Mimian. I mean, going off I the fact like that it's bit... based on, you know, the word mime, it might be Mimian, but that sounds awkward and weird, so I don't like it. Yeah. It'd be like... Mimian? If you're using, like... Uh, I don't even know. Anyways, we're going to Pallet Town. We're going to be heading down to Cinnabar Island. But first, we're going to say hi to our mom. Hi, Mom. Shout us to the Mom Heal. Not something you see too often in speedruns. Exactly, the complete run. Unfortunate. You gotta say hi to your mom. Wholesome run. Like, some speedruns we do mm -hmm. such horrible things, such as, like, s tell our mom to just shut up, like we do in Gen 2 or something like that. I don't actually know what we do. Uh. By the way, we're pulling because we don't actually need to get any more tentacles. Uh, the encounter rate here on in the water is fairly low, but we just don't need Missed it. the entrance. So, welcome to Cinnabar Island. Oh my gosh, you did the biking thing. So yeah, next is another you know major catch segment being uh, Mansion. Uh, what is it? Just. Coughing, Reticate, uh, are like the main two. 
And then you also really want Growlithe because Arcanine. This is also another uh, chance to get an Intimidate user. Yeah, so nice Calcium here. It's going to be our last Calcium in the run. We're not going to sell it, just like the last one we had. And yeah, we're going to see what encounters we get. Oh, 1% effect. Coughing. Oh, poison. That could be useful. Uh, yeah. Please set up pause champ. Yeah. Getting getting damaged here is actually not even that bad. Getting way too much damage can kill you, but it tends to happen. Poison's going to give us the ability to semi-freely manipulate our HP to something decent for uh, the next fight that's coming up. It'll be a bit, but it'll be nice to have a Route 2 Blaze. Not quite actually Blaze. And we continue getting coughings, which are like basically the most common encounter, so... Yeah, we're looking for some other stuff, though, so... Hopefully we get them. Oh, come on. You get it? Come on. Oh, yeah. Not the good puppy, but... A puppy, puppy is still good. Yeah. Now the big question is, do we see a ditto? Oh gosh. Nice. Yeah. Alright, well, Raticate is the last encounter that I kind of needed. So, that works out. I think Wing Attack is fine. But it might kill. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, Eradicate's Orinberry makes it a little bit annoying for Squirtle, because a lot of the time you won't damage it too far below half uh, without risking, like, killing it. Yeah. Either way, got Eradicate, and now we're actually at really good HP too, so... Yeah. I believe it's time to Antidote. Also, just do a massive menu while we're at it. So you're gonna push in once? We're in the menu already. Antidote. Uh, God, where's okay? There's so <laughs> many things to keep track of in this menu. Gonna move some Clefairy here. Yeah. So if we had seen a Ditto, you would have uh, thrown out the bug because uh, Ditto has a funny little quirk, Gen Three Plus. Uh, where Transform will also copy the catch rate of the Pokémon. Yeah. Uh, so you can make it 78% to catch uh, any Yellow Ultra Ball. Unfortunately, you can't just Net Ball immediately. But we don't, we don't care enough. 78% is basically 100. Yeah. Picking up a couple of, of items while we're at it, including the key to uh, Blaine's gym. I'm picking up that item ball that you saw, and we kind of ran past. That's uh, TM11 or something. It's Blizzard, basically, 14. and it's not useful. Oh, 14? My bad. Yeah, 11 sunny day. We did pick that up for uh, oh, yeah, other reasons. That. Yeah, welcome to Blaine's gym. The whole gimmick, if y'all don't know, is... A bunch of questions, and you don't have to face trainers. The gimmick uh, is text mashing. Yeah, knowing when to mash B instead of A. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should actually call the gimmick Tombstoney. Fair enough. I would be fine with that as well. That is my favorite question. Yeah. It started as Tombstoner in Gen One, if y'all remember the yellow task. But Tombstoney just sounds cuter. It's just funnier. 
Don't you know that's the best TM? Uh, yeah, TM28, Tombstoney. Uh, so the blind fight is actually not a free fight. Uh, we do need to get some setup done, and that means we're going to get some turns to potentially get hit. If we get hit into Blaze, that's great. If we don't get hit in, into Blaze, it'll be still okay, honestly. Like, take what you get. So, here's Blaine. It looks like two hits from Growlithe should hopefully hit into Blaze. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be close enough. Assuming he, he actually ends his attacks, because he's not yeah. going to be using mm. perfectly accurate moves. Takes down and Fire Blast. Uh, yeah. Fire Blast, we actually want. That's the move that Blaine's oh. going to give us. Well, Speaking perfect. of Fire Blast missing. <laughs> yeah, 85 accurate. Oh, nice crit. Okay, well, you know. Alright, that's effectively hitting twice. We take those. Now, uh, this fight's, this fight's free. It's yeah, the fight's basically over, place. you just press the A button and win. Yeah, you know what? It's, it's actually funny because, uh, 2x spec flamethrower blaze with charcoal is still a range on this Arcanine unless you take that calcium that you just picked up and mentioned. Very serious. I swear. Gosh, and that calcium that. literally makes the difference in guaranteeing that Arcanine. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome to... to using a fire type on a fire type gym. At least it's intimidate and not flash fire. Like, imagine if it was. Actually, that would be it so was, upsetting. Wait. What would be really bad is if it's, like, Intimidate from Growlithe and then Flash Fire from Arcanine. Cause... Yeah, no, that'd be that, that'd be funny. Like, what, what do you do in that case? Teach Fly, can't right. I think what you would do in that case is, uh, switch out after Growlithe, set up on Pony. Switch out after Growlithe, set up on Pony. <laughs> oh my gosh. That sounds really bad. Anyways, uh... This is Bill, if y'all remember this guy. Uh, he was a Clefairy earlier in the run. Now he's going to tell us to like go off to the middle of nowhere. And for some reason, we're going to trust him and actually say yes. Yeah, kind of strange to go on a boat with someone you just met like a little bit ago. You and know. someone who's so stupid that like he transformed himself into a Clefairy or something. Yeah, I, I don't think I would trust you know a boat ride with a scientist who like does not exactly know what he's doing. Yeah. Anyways, uh, in any percent, you would actually, like, do the logical thing and say no to Bill, but, uh, we actually need to say yes to him. Yeah, saying no to Bill in round two has far, far smaller consequences to saying yes to him in any percent. Oh yeah, it's only, like, if you say no, he just goes into the Cinnabar Center and then you just bike in there and say yes. Oh, if I'm you sorry, say yes Bill. in 80%, you're locked into a uh, like 15 minute uh, side quest that you can't leave. If it's 8 minutes or something. Right, seven. yeah, like 15, yeah, it's like we're probably gonna be, like 7, yeah. yeah. We're gonna spend a little more time here in the Sevi Islands because there's also really nice catches to be had. Uh, yeah, uh, I th there... think we're probably going to see a bit of a detour at the end of it, too. Yeah, that too. Got two detours, actually. Anyways, uh, right, welcome yeah. to Two Island. Uh, this is where this is where the entire Sevi side quest here is supposed to end, because we're giving this guy... You're right. Uh, he's, too, uh, he's too worried about Lestelle. They're really lost uh, to to take that meteorite, so he's not gonna, he's just gonna tell us to go away and go find, he's not actually gonna tell us to go find her, but she's, but this guy's not gonna care at all. Anyways, let's go find that kid. Yeah, because apparently her dad's not gonna look for her. Maybe, maybe he just doesn't have any Pokemon and like, someone, like Professor Oak or someone is just telling him, you can't go in the grass. Well, sounds like a Pokemon to me. Kids. Like, I don't care if your kid's missing. You can't go in the grass. 
Anyways, uh, here's a bunch of bikers. Uh, they're they're invading Three Island. So we got a the the native people of Three Island. Yeah. Apparently, all of their names are goon. Yep. Just like uh, Team Rocket grunts or whatever. Probably uh, how they all became friends. Fair enough. Hey, Goon, what's your name? My name's Goon. Oh, you have a cool name. Ah, oh, you too, Goon. I'd imagine that's how the conversation went down. How how do you even, like, run a Team Rocket meeting or, like, a biker gang meeting or something like that? Like, they number each other. Hey, you, they Goon. just wear it. They wear, like, a little <laughs> name tag with, like, their number on it. I could okay. You know what? That could be really funny. Like, imagine a bunch of baseball jerseys, but like, uh, the last name. You know how there's like the number in the last name, and they all say Grun. <laughs> and they're all just Goon. <laughs> Except for if you're like playing on the Yankees or something, because like they don't have their last names on their jerseys. But I don't know why. Anyways, I'm not a Yankees fan. I'm a I'm an hate names. And artist fan. Yeah, they hate names. They hate facial hair. Like. Anyways, uh, back to the- yeah, actually, there's nothing going on in the fights. Uh, it's all- Yeah, yeah the fights are just pressing buttons and, and winning, <laughs> uh, and just waiting for the fights to be over. It's effectively an auto-scroller. <laughs> Honestly? Well, no, you manage the, how fast it's going by mashing better or worse. <laughs> this is very true. I- you know what? I can't argue with that. It's basically a cutscene, then. Hi Amber, thanks for being sorry for me. It's been a trying year. Like the the beginning of the year when the angels were like actually good. It felt so good. Because it's just like they haven't been good in so long and then they like lost fourteen games and then like stopped hitting for some reason and everyone got hurt and angels are the angels again. Uh, and they could consider winning, that sounds Dude, these stupid SoCal people. Shep must be, like, <laughs> so embarrassed right now. I'm just confused. I'm gonna be totally honest. I don't know anything about sports. But you know stuff about speedrunning sports. I do I, I do know things about Pokemon. Anyways, that's an Oddish. Those, those are really good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there is a slight chance, I don't know if Mockwing will or won't just skip Gloom if he sees one, because Gloom is kind of a pain to catch, and since he has the extra candy, it might be worth just candying the Oddish and not dealing with Moonlight and Stun Spore. Although he does have the uh, pair, uh, full heal and uh, full restores in reserves, so... Ooh. 37 Pidgeotto's actually kinda rare. Yeah. I didn't know you could get 37 That's Pidgeotto on this route. I thought it was That's only in really Berry nice. Forest. <laughs> Well, I guess you don't have 37 Pidgeotto <laughs> anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah just like Whirlwind that. exists. It, it feels really bad when, like, Growlithe sees Roar. You want the Intimidate, you want the Fires. St oh, well, bye. Uh, here's yeah, a, a very, very tough fly, fight. But... Uh, you basically press Ember, press Ember, and then press Ember. Wait, wait, what was the last step there? Uh, a Blizzard. Oh, okay. <laughs> Instructions weren't clear. I accept yeah. in the bite. I, I accept <laughs> to hit my ember. Oh yeah, this fight's free, if you can tell. Well, it's negative free through. because she gives you money. True. Uh, we're heading into the berry forest, and we're gonna see what pokes we can get. We kind of got some of the more common ones already in Oddish. Actually, we haven't gotten Pidgeotto Oddish yet. is not common. Oddish is 10% in Berry Forest. Oh, Gloom's the... Yeah, yeah Gloom, Gloom is uh, 20. Pidgeotto is also 20. Uh, eggs, Copium? Copium. <laughs> That'd be really Copium. nice. Eggs would be, yeah, really nice, though. Hey, Pidgeotto. Another 37. Uh, yeah, 37 is guaranteed in Forest. I use that as a uh, Repel Strat uh, in Ketchumul. That's cool. Uh, Alright. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, Pidgeotto can evolve into Pidgeot starting at like level 36. Uh, we don't really have the candies for that unless we catch Gloom, and even then we probably won't because it's probably going to be suboptimal. 
Oh. Maybe you could detour to Cerulean Cave, Copium. Oh my gosh. I don't- oh wait, no, it's not Cerulean Cave, but I don't remember where the candies are off the top of my head, now I'm upset. Come on, catch them all, runner, what the heck. Anyways, uh, uh, we're gonna yeah. heal to not die from 23. Hey, I'm just gonna get the special attack EVs that I need. And not stress. Yeah, that's fair. Gloom's catch rate is 120, and yeah. also, uh, not a fun Pokemon to catch. Yeah, just as just a reminder, we need, needs uh, two special attack EVs from Wilds or Optionals. We got one in Mount Moon, but that's not two uh, from those who yeah. are keeping track. But now we do have two. We have three, in fact, but who cares about that third mm. one? Anyways, uh, let's get some actual encounters. Or not, I don't know. Extra special attack EVs still have never hurt anyone. Yeah, for sure. Plus extra XP. Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna make a difference, uh, but yeah. The EVs feel nice. True. No eggs. This is very sad. Yeah, uh, yeah this was another place I think that they said, uh, consider Master Ball on Hypno if you're really, like, not feeling like dealing with it, because it's kind of a pain to catch. Oh, yeah. Oh. It caps out at 62%. That's also why it's the also Master dead. Ball is good on it. Oh. <laughs> Bye, okay. Hypno. Yeah, right, so Hypno yeah that are... can be bad, uh, but... Thankfully, Hypno is not worth anything other than just being Hypno. Yeah, just a free encounter that you're always going to get. Unfortunately, also not a free catch, so... Either way, while we're here, turning in the meteorite, he's going to give us a Moonstone. And he's also going to let us head back to the main story in Kanto. We're going to spend our time here on Two Island to get this rare candy at the top of the camp brink. And perhaps get a Meowth. We can get a Meowth on the detour, at least, thankfully. Yeah. And also, if uh, Bakum takes a different maybe. detour for an Intimidator... Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, I know what you mean, but that's not happening. Most likely not, uh, but, you know, there's always the, op or the option. <laughs> there's better places to camp for Intimidators. Uh, let's, uh, we're gonna head go over so. here. Okay. Oh, really? To happen. Pony. Yeah, so we, we do this detour for Ponyta because a trade in Cinnabar Island. Uh, there are three trades in the lab. Uh, its level doesn't matter in Charmander because you're, like, almost never gonna have the uh, candy, candy for it. Yeah. It's, like, I think 5% to be 34, and that means you can candy that and evolve uh, the seal to Dugong uh, after you trade. Seal or Seal or my favorite of the trade names in this game. Best one, uh, we're unfortunately not going to see it. Is it's also like one of the most out of the way trades, so it's okay to not care about it. Oh, nice Sparrow. Actually, I, I like Mark a lot. Yeah. Oh, hi, Mark, Mark with the C is pretty good. Yeah. The last time we had uh, like for round two at PSR Marathon, Sparkle actually like. On traded for Mark. Uh, unfortunately, we're not gonna do that ourselves unless something really. Is uh, really no, I don't think there is the opportunity because I don't know where else we could even get a Psyduck high enough to evolve the Golduck. Yeah, but yeah. the only place is Cape Brink. Like, hey, if you want to go back to Two Island and like hop in the water and just like surf until you find a Golduck. At that point, yeah. just go in the grass, higher encounter rate, and it's going to be the same chance of seeing a Golduck. Alright, y'all y'all are lame. Uh, anyways, uh, we're done with the Savvy Side quest. We're going to do some Pokemon box arranging and all that. Because we're going to have a lot of downtime, and also all the pokes that we have in here, we don't need for HMs or anything like that. So, uh, and withdraw some pokes game of, do you know where you can find all the pokes in your party, or in your poke box? and so far, Buckwing's doing a pretty good job of it, actually, so. It's a game I tend to lose. I'm so bad at it. 
Anyways, we're done. Uh, so, if you miss the Sevi Islands, don't worry. We will be back sooner or later. Uh, but yes, we've got another half hour of Sevi Islands coming up uh, in about oh, like a while from now. Yeah, and we're going to see a lot more too. But uh, uh, just to rem remind y'all of where we are in the main story, we've got seven gym badges. Uh, Let's go makes a point of making sure that Blaine is your seventh gym badge, even though in speedruns it never is. Uh, but here it actually is our seventh gym badge. So we're gonna power up uh, in preparation for our last gym gym battle with whoever their uh, gym leader is, because we actually passed by their gym a couple of times in Viridian. Who, we're teaching who, Coliseum who? Simulator. Woo! Let's go! I... I was commentating the salsa race yesterday, and now I'm going to be uh, commentating some more salsa. Yeah. Uh, Shoutouts to the Call of Community. Freaking amazing. Yeah, that and... race was awesome. Yeah, that race was so <laughs> funny. I loved it. Imagine, what if we had an Elite Four Round 2 race between Blastoise, Charizard, and Zapdos. Yeah, no one's gonna run Zapdos, but... Venusaur. But... Who's gonna run... Actually, you might run that, huh? <laughs> it sounds funny enough. Oh, I, th I think it'd be funny. It'd be a disaster, but it'd be funny. So yeah, we're gonna fully evolve bunch of pokes, and there's also a PC here in the lab. I don't know if Makuk's gonna use it or not, but could be uh, filling be. out a lot of pokes on our poke count. Yeah, so, this yeah. split you're adding by far the most pokes to your poke count. Shoutouts to Moonlight. One move that we did not want to see so much that we just didn't bother catching a poke. Yeah, uh, like, yeah, on top of, like, Moonlight, uh, Gloom's catch rate being low, like, plus, I think Gloom's catch rate being it. low, like, on its own wouldn't be a big deal if it didn't have Moonlight. Yeah. But, Don't yeah, do it half of its HP with any moves, other than things that just full-on kill it. That's, and that's the same with, uh, Blastoise, too. And then... Actually, well, Blastoise and you can Mega Kick the Gloom. Like, actually. But. Then you'd be Mega Kicking. <laughs> I think I normally you would teach over uh, Mega Kick before you have the opportunity to do that. Uh. Actually, yeah. Because you have I to teach Blizzard the... for the uh, Aroma Lady. Yeah. But if you don't, then. Yeah, it's it's technically Anyways. an option. Yeah, so we're getting Electrode. Uh, really funny things can happen because these trades, uh, the, the pokes that you're trading, you're going to get back the same level, just a different Pokemon. And in this game and in quite a few others, Pikachu is available in in Forest, just as a rare encounter. Like, if you get your Pikachu from there, it'll be like level 3 or 5. Evolve it into Raichu. Level 3 or 5 Raichu is probably pretty funny, right? Well, you trade it and you get a level 3 or 5 E Sphere. Also, shoutouts to Tangini. Yeah, I don't know, like, what was up with the people making the names specifically uh, for the Pokemon in Lab, but they all just sound like the stuff that you'd hear in Pokemon Stadium. Okay, Stadium's names are even more ridiculous, like... I, I mean, Sealord, come better. on. Okay, Sealord does, definitely sounds like it belongs in Coliseum, or in Stadium, you're right. Okay, fine. But, like, E-Sphere, eh. Tangini. Actually, that could... 
It's like Pidgeotti or something, or Pidgeotto. So, so yeah, I guess that could also be a stadium name, but... Right. Eastfear, not as much. <laughs> uh, Eastfear doesn't make sense. Anyways, uh, so we're done trading Pokemon for the rest of the run. We're gonna be reviving fossils. Like how much power it actually takes to return things from the dead. Uh, the PC is just like just, you can store Pokemon or Pokeball. I don't. No, well, I don't want to think too hard about it. Yeah. Uh, Hawking's gonna pluck all the Pokemon that he had previously into his party, and uh, including his two bugs. Because he hasn't evolved either of them yet, so he's going to be doing that between now and uh, and the end of the Elite Four. And that means he's got an Omanyte, and now he's going to get an Aerodactyl. Sorry, there's definitely so much Pokemon movement going around in this split. Yeah. I was just like, staying Yeah, it's, it's good focusing. to focus. Yeah. Hope we didn't distract you too much. Oh, yeah, no, no, we, no. we got you. Uh, coming up is going to be something that's going to take a lot of focus because uh, haven't warmed up to it, if, uh, if you get what I mean. Haven't used Fire Blast yet, and we're going to have to start using it soon. So I want to give Mockwing some accuracy luck if you want to give him some salsa before it. Watching other trainers' names for their beloved Pokemon. They don't even exist. They're just NPCs. Who cares? Yeah, like, they don't have feelings. They're not real. Yeah, they say, like, the same thing on repeat. Maybe, maybe, maybe they have enough character development where you can do something and they'll say something different. Oh my god. I mean, you can always edit the text yourself, so technically, yes, they could say something different. Okay, but that requires so much work, though. True. Uh, also, getting Blaze, uh, eventually. Part of that Hopefully. is, we're gonna let all these random trainers try to hit our bugs, but uh, our bugs aren't quite combat ready. They're not even evolved at all, so we're gonna first evolve them before we uh, consider sending them out into the heat of battle. The heat of battle, get it? The was, heat uh, of battle. I like that. <laughs> that one, I also just I didn't try that. I just I wasn't planning that. Hope y'all are enjoying my really bad puns. What do you mean bad? Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're god tier puns, man. I don't know what to tell you. I'm only hearing gold. Oh, the wrong chat. Yeah, if you were only hearing gold, I'd be a little bit concerned, considering you've gotten this far into this run. Yeah. Or impressed. <laughs> Shout out to Gen 2 music, by the way. Gen 2 music is awesome. I really we'll get to hear a little music. bit of it. Huh? Well, remixes. Okay, fair. Okay, you're right, huh? Uh, Actually, yeah. we won't really get to hear it because, we, you know, the bike It'll musical. It'll be the bike music again, yeah. But, uh, like, th there's there's a couple routes. Yeah. Uh, I believe Green gets a little bit of hate for its music. I don't really know why. Also, congrats on getting Blaze. That's pretty nifty. Uh, we're kind of going to level out soon, but... Actually, not soon enough, so it's fine. Everything's fine. We're good. Also, we're gonna get Beedrill here. Yeah, so it's it's normal, like normally in the Squirtle route, you would actually evolve one of your bugs here. But uh, what's a little bit different is uh, what Mockwing is gonna do is evolve the other, or, well, yes, evolve the other bug on Giovanni, but then um, I think later on. On, on Route 23, just switch train real quick on a wild. 
Yeah, so it's yeah, it's either thing. that or like depending on your defense and HP, you could potentially swap train on Viridian Rival. Uh, but it also depends on how much extra EXP you got beforehand. Uh, and just like how, like, because it is a little bit risky to take a little bit more damage on that fight, because then you're even closer to one crate kills you. Decided Angel's not ready for battle, but yeah, we can keep playing hit and run or like show and like hide, I don't know, with uh, Caterpie now, so we're gonna do that. Send the Caterpie into battle to make it fear for its life. <laughs> Shoutouts to Ranger Squid. I know he's he's asleep right now, but shoutouts to that for the memes task. Couldn't watch with volume, but I'll make sure to watch the VODs. Speaking of which, the VODs will be up for all of these PSR marathon runs. Blaze here is kind of cool, because now we don't have to hit Fire Blasts. Yeah. Yeah. Xarian's route would just hit Fire Blasts instead of bothering with Blaze. But here Actually, we're gonna. Unless I want to pick throw. up an extra PP item, I think I actually do need to. Yeah, I, I just I noticed your PP you there. You have to hit it here or you have to hit it on the next fight. How are you feeling right now? Feeling alright. Could, all right, could gonna... still potentially go underestimate. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> if you go underestimate, I will be so mad. No, I'll be proud. I mean, yes, I will be proud, but I will be mad still. Okay, Anyways, nice. Uh, this is Giovanni. Uh, this fight's not too bad. Assuming he hit Fire Blast, I should probably say. But uh, yeah, we did. And that's what matters. Probably would have just flamethrowered those instead of. Fire blasting both because there's a chance you still need a fire blast on the next fight, regardless of whether you have flamethrowers yeah. or not. So here's our Caterpie that's evolving now. Wow. One step closer. Almost there. We almost have a butter memes. What's your poke count at, by the way? Uh, right now I am at. Uh, 51 registered, 53 planned. Okay. That's... That's... Not too bad. Something. It's not amazing, but it's kind of par for the course when it comes to Charizard. Runs. Yeah, it's it's kind of what you get with Charizard. Yeah, yeah even if you average. have good luck. Even if you have good luck, you're still running low on pokes. And if you miss any of the stone pokes, it just becomes so much scarier. Because you're missing that poke and you're missing the evolution. So here we're gonna heal to full and then set up for the next fight. It's Viridian Rival. Uh, oh, wait, no. Uh, this is too early for Sunny Day. Yeah, I still need yeah, to scratch. Just, just... Uh, no. Yes. Okay. Those text boxes are always confusing. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I remembered the what was supposed to be done in that menu, but it could just be done in another one. Everything uh, is fine. I still have another Pokemon to evolve. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's find out how much experience this bug's gonna get. Oh no. 
I'm just gonna max push him now. I'm not Oof. gonna deal with that. A lot of damage. Yeah, Blaze is uh really important for this fight, I think. Just because of Blast maybe. Blaze. Yeah. Arrival has actually finally caught up on having an actual starter, put it nicely, so. Uh, unfortunately, Blastoise is also bulky. <gasps> no, that was the wrong move. <laughs> okay. So. I'm used uh, to. Fire Blast okay. time. So the Does wrong it slot, kill, yeah. though? Does no, it Fire kill? Blast kills. Fire Blast kills, yes. It just has to hit. Okay. There we go. This place, okay. Easy. I'm done. Yeah, if you don't miss Fire Blast, you kill the Pokemon. Either you do a lot of damage, or you do very little damage. Uh, anyways, that's Either you the win or you don't. I will fight. Yeah, the rest of the Pokemon you can just Ember. Yeah. So it's... Blaze and how much? Plus four, I think. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Entirely yeah, going off of the notes. Imagine having notes opened. I need I'm... them open. I don't know this route. I still need them open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just here laughing at everything going wrong. Like, I don't. I'm just. I'm just having a good time, and I hope everyone in chat is having a good time. Yeah, we have a couple of pokes to catch. Uh probably gonna have to go for some uh more questionable catches as well while we're yeah at it. um so a have, lot of the uh, catches in this area are unfortunately uh looking closer to coin flips than they are to <laughs> guaranteed hey um, we have a lot of balls yes mockwing did buy several extra balls uh so plus there's two uh backup ultra balls in victory road and or between victory road and route uh, 23. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully, you should be fine, especially because you didn't have to use any on, uh, Hypno forehead. Yeah, yeah, Copium. Uh, <laughs> Mockling's at 51, which will Perfect. become 53 once he evolves some stuff. Mankey was not Actually, no, seven catches. Now. Mankey is unfortunate here because you can get it on the other routes. Um... Yeah. But yeah, no, entering this grass, you're 90% to get something useful. The other 10% okay. being... I yeah. have a Butterfree, so you can weaken it, actually. Spiro. Spiro is always a funny encounter on this route. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stay for Rat, actually. That's fair, Certainly yeah. Spiro Rat's 40%. Oh, perfect. Spiro happens on a lot of routes, but the thing is, we can't use any of them because we need it early on to get Chiding. Which is such a shame. Yeah, Chiding matters a lot for, like, party management purposes. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's this route. We're heading over to... It's actually some water, that, and we can get some pokes while we're in there, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, Otherwise... hopefully Psyduck... Actually, yeah, because you can switch to Nidoqueen to deal with Psyduck for damaging if you need to. He does not have an Intimidator yet. This is true, yes. 25% uh, to get uh, an, well, a Pokemon that can have Intimidate. Then it's being a 50, 50 between... from there. Yeah, between Ekans and Arbok. It's 1 and 8. That's not bad. Not bad. Worst case scenario, you can still do the funny backup. But hopefully it's it doesn't come fine. down to that. Cause, especially because Mockwing does still need both Ekans and Arbok. Or, well, doesn't need Arbok. Needs a lot of pokes. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely wants to grab Ekans. Something. Uh, let's yeah, see what happens. Come on. Ah, uh, the funny water encounter rate has kicked in. Yeah, water sucks, especially when you're, like, Nepal. repelled and trying to go for, like, you know, lower encounter slots.
Okay, we need four more catches from this point. With nice. no Master Ball. A little tough. Oh, yeah. The Master Ball. That's very doable. I didn't catch your Ultra yeah, Count or Ultra Ball Count. Fine. It's like okay, 12. Please intimidate. Oh, that's so good. Yo, did it happen? All right. What an easy game. All right, game. well, yeah. You just got to get lucky, and then you can win. That's kind of how that you works. Just, you just ask nicely, as uh, as Mockling has demonstrated. Oh, so, yeah. Seconds is going to be with us for a while, because we have determined it has Intimidate. It's one of the like really nice things about Intimidate, because you can just know when you have it. It'd really yeah. suck if you had to, like, check the ability, and I don't think you, like... It would even be a viable strat if you couldn't. Yeah. Safety for restore, let's go. Safety for restore, not grabbing the one in Victory Road. I mean, you could also oh, grab the one in Victory Road. I li Okay, so, the one in Victory Road, I literally found out about, like, within the past week. Yeah, that was during the race, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I always grab that. I don't remember who told me about it, but I, I also learned about it when I was uh, doing and catching all stuff. Yeah, I don't think a lot of speedrunners had known about it until like until Sparkle was raging in one of his uh, unsuccessful <laughs> round two grind runs, and then he just clicked on a rock and gra speaking of rocks, uh, clicked on a rock and grabbed a floor store out of it. <laughs> That's really good. And Squirtle oh, yeah. Route can pick up the full restore because it is still a good safety option. Um, especially because, uh, I don't know, it, when, when you're like kind of lower on full restores, especially like if you get absolutely ratioed by Lorelei like I tend to do, um, having the extra full restores really does help. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Squirtle, you don't really run low on items because you don't run a so, low on money either. So you tend to have a lot of spare Pokeballs and all sorts of stuff. Charizard, as uh, y'all have seen, we don't ha we don't uh, get all the good things in life. But hey, it's more fun. At least I would say so. We're actually gonna get to legit the only. Uh, 2022 route improvement on the char route, which is reload the rock in the same room without leaving it. Yeah, yeah. this a uh, little bit, or I don't really know how to, how to describe oh, it, but it's, no. it's super useful. What? Oh, extra tricky. That. No. Yep. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's a really unfortunate optional to hit. Uh, five Pokemon, I believe, right? Yeah. yeah. What happens? I don't actually know what's gonna happen here. Oh, they elite. This all is the a fight. The trainers rock. Oh, oh my gosh. I haven't hit this trainer since. Oh my god. Last year's. Pyro Leaf Green turn here in the semifinals. Hey, at least that he happened didn't... in the semifinals. God, that sucks. Yeah, I hit like three, three optionals in like the quarters. I don't even know which round this year. Oh my gosh, a War Turtle. <laughs> yeah, I think they have all of the starters. Okay, that was crazy. Well, I'm gonna save a candy. <laughs> so one must poke to catch. Hey, good thing you repelled, huh? Opium. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to the curse block. Oh, I should have fire blasted. <gasps> that scary face. Sack your. I don't know, sack something. I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. Everything is fine. Okay, your Charizard. Mm. 
mirror match. Which flamethrower yeah. will win? The Charizard mirror. I feel like the Charizard that's ten levels higher would win. Hey, what if you um, hit sure. it into blaze though? I'm that is what happened. I'm gonna kill Wilds so I could just yeah. use rare candy on the chop or or Geo dude. Like Geodo or something. Whatever you see in your whatever you pick out of your box. Ekans would be really funny. Actually, I, Ekans would probably I make know, the most sense. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Hold on. Oh, right. yeah. And why are we even trying? Why are we thinking at all? Anyways, uh This is Victory Road. All the trainers are optionals, which are great because all of them suck. Like, there's one that has, like, a Chansey or something, and in Mockling have both had the misfortune of fighting that Chansey, I think yeah. in the same race once upon a time. Uh, <laughs> also... In that situa uh, situation, would Scratch unironically be the best thing to do? Uh, uh, possibly. No, I, no, I think it depends on the PP of your other moves. Uh, well, if you have Lapras, the move is to go to Parasong. Like, unironically. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh, also, if you see that uh, Pokeball, that item ball, that's an important one for us. Yes. Uh, so if you if you have, or if you make the mistake of missing that, you have to go all the way back through Victory Road, uh, all the way up to this point. Um, it'd be crazy if somebody did that recently. Yeah, very crazy. Uh... Would be such an unfortunate mistake to make. Uh, good thing uh, we don't know anybody here who uh, would have done that, right? Yeah, I certainly don't. Don't- oh, right, you're fighting it. Of course not. I definitely couldn't have done it. I- I definitely wouldn't have to go all the way back through Victory Road. From, yeah. like, the start, because apparently the stupid rocks all come back when you leave. Yeah, we- we don't know any of this from experience, don't worry, don't worry. Just kind of read it all and like, I don't know, what do y'all read? Old Pita or, like, Serebii? I no, I, I read it from someone else's first-hand account. Uh, you, they they go to a different school though. <laughs> okay. Okay, Golbat. Uh. Will Mockwing find a Golbat? Kappa. I think they should start that prediction now, so then I can say yes, and then we can all win points. Time to. Once uh, did a run where I ran out of Pell, so I just did like a full four and a half of Victory Road without Repel. <laughs> it was so sad. Yeah, I just ended up like rebuying Repels and Escape Ropes. <laughs> I was just like, well, I guess I have like one less uh, full restore, not a big deal, I guess. Yeah. Generally, you won't really need to use too many healing items in the post game with Charizard, assuming things go well. Also, yeah, shout out to Sunny Day. Charizard hilariously does better than uh, Squirtle uh, in post game. Yeah. Uh, just because, just because uh, Blastoise kind of doesn't handle some of the some of the worst stuff very well because oh, yeah. of its uh, subpar attacking stats. Yeah, and also its move pull doesn't really address some of the pokes that are going to show up there. What do you mean? Blizzard does just fine against Vileplume. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Giving you hit and also get like the coin flip range without X special. Oh yeah, it's also a range. I forgot about that too. Uh, so yeah. This game's gonna go a little easier for Charizard than what you probably are used to seeing if you have watched Elite Four Round 2 before. That being said, we also need to get to the post game, and that's uh, its own matter. We're gonna be using some rare candies on this Charizard. We're not gonna use all of them because we got an accidental level <laughs> from hitting the extra tricky trainer. It wasn't an accident, it was just a calculated mistake. Calculated? Just happy accidents, you know. 
Uh, all over yeah. the run. Last boulder. Final boulder and almost out of Victory Road. Yes, I did hit the tricky trainer. <laughs> we, we we don't mention that. Also, welcome back to the I've been known fresh to air on of Route 23. That was to when... this hidden max elixir. Oh yeah, because of because of the optional. Okay, let's just move things around. Boxing. Found like three or four. I don't even know at this point. The acting's for sure. Uh, Lapras. And that's it, yeah. Okay, so four stores. Uh, five for now. Because we need four. Oh, that's not enough for an extra. Okay. And on to the E4. The, some would say, the highlight of the char run. Some would say, uh, the low light. Some would say this makes me very, very rationally upset. Okay, so here's the Elite Four. Uh, the Elite Four and Fire and Leaf Green is like actually just in general pretty hard, like regardless of what poke you're oh. using. It's hard for Blastoise, but if you thought it was really hard, <laughs> you're wrong. Welcome to Charizard's Elite Four. We could ignore this. We could pretend like this was red. Ah, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. It's Shout out okay. to Miss Nito. Uh, goodbye, Miss Nito. Uh, we'll see We don't later. like Miss Nito, so we wanted to kill her. Okay, well, safeguard on that turn is actually really great. So, this is what's turn one supposed to be. Uh, Dugon can do a lot of different things, and some of them aren't very good. Some of them are terrifying, and some of them are just in can. Right. We got the easiest version of the fight, Yay. which was double X spec into Sunny Day. Yeah, and then you just flamethrower out. Yeah. So yeah, that's this fight. Not too many things went wrong. Uh, we're off to a good start on this Elite Four. Let's say that. Let's keep it that way. Yeah. So the funny thing about on two is if we haven't stressed it enough. You need money to buy balls. We barely have a lot, a lot of money, and we barely have balls. We barely have catches, so we're going to be saving up on items and all sorts of things. And one way to do that is to not heal, do not get damaged. So we're just going to take this HP into Bruno. That'll be fun. It will be. It absolutely will be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just read a really funny thing in the notes about the ranges. Yes. Yeah. Yes, uh... I out. wish I noticed that before, or read it properly or something, because I was not scared of the fight, as I should have been. And there's only, there's only, like, there's a decent chance everything goes well, you know. It's fine. Uh... That's the thing with Charizard. Uh, in this route compared to Blastoise. Charizard does, like, I think, okay, maybe not every fight, but almost every fight faster than Blastoise. If everything goes well. Now, if things don't go well, uh, uh, I don't know. We, we don't mention that. Things go well. Oh my well. god, did I not? I'm continuing not to do things uh, <laughs> that I shouldn't be doing. That's really funny. Shout out to Chiding. Uh, Chiding gets its uh, time in the sun. I love yeah, Iron Tail's we're, accuracy. We're, we're gonna give everyone Wait. their due, I guess. Oh, gosh. 
Iron Tail is such a cool move with its really high accuracy. Steel type Mega Kick. Love that. Shout out to Geodude. We're we gonna see Geodude on the next fight. I hope so. Geodude's funny. No, I'll make sure I'll make sure to swap. But if you send out Geodude, you get to you get to uh, revive it when you evolve it. Oh. Tempting. And then send it out again. <laughs> no! <laughs> Not this miss. Yeah, That's missing right. here is unfortunate. Yeah. That's the only so, fire blast you need to hit on the fight. But okay. shout outs to Rock Tomb. Hey, look, it's you, dude. Let's try this. Uh. So it turns out something went wrong. Uh. They tend to do that. Uh, yeah. Welcome to Pokemon speedrunning, everybody. Okay. Most of these deaths are recoverable in E4, while well, maybe not a rock tomb. That's fine. Uh, wow, still faster? <laughs> okay. I was we not expecting those. that. Oh, oh but I, I'm... Oh. I'm gonna be slower than that. I'm definitely going to be slower than Hitmonlee. <laughs> okay. Mega Kick is funny. Yeah. Can you imagine it even hitting? Can you imagine it even critting? We're going to Sunny Day for power. Into yeah, think her. Please, easy, easy setups, easy recoveries. <laughs> Make uh, it's not a range anymore. Copium. You did it. Copium. <laughs> yeah. So all of them except for Machamp were 15 and 16 ranges. Um. Well, not the first Onyx, but really, oh, it just says everything here. It. Yeah. it it says Onyx, but it just means the last Onyx, because the first one's level 51 and the last one's level 54. Okay. So, uh, that was Bruno. Uh, things- it turns out things did go wrong, uh, which means nothing's gonna go wrong after this. That was, I think, Here's about actually, uh, as early. wrong as it could have gone while still being <laughs> recoverable. Yeah. Yeah, here's Agatha. Time to Hydro Pump Egg. I am. Oh, wait, wrong game. Uh, shout outs to Let's Go. We got a Let's Go run coming up after this, actually, so stay tuned. All right, are there any Fire Blasts to hit in this fight? Nope. Not, okay. not this time. Agatha seems to be very free. All right. Yeah. yeah. Agatha is probably the hardest fight for Blastoids. And, uh, Easily. with us, who cares? I don't care at all. I have a fast Pokemon, and one that actually has power. Also, also had to, uh, a lot of candies, but we're not gonna mention that part. I still can't get over Venusaur's, uh, Mimic Shadow Punch strat for this fight. <laughs> That's such an interesting alt main strategy. Yeah. I think that kind of strategy reminds me of, like, some of the things it's that Char is cool. gonna have to do later. It's cool, yeah, for but real. it's also just so sad. Like, Venusaur is level 50-something, or like, I don't even, I don't know when it hits 60 in any percent around round two, but it hits 60 at some point. Like, it still it just has doesn't nothing have to... an, an actual move pool. It, not on, it, on top of that, like, it has nothing to do neutral damage to ghost poison. Not the easiest type to hit. To, like, yeah. Hit. But Some being slack, Grass Poison but... really does not help it. Yeah, Grass Poison... It's... Yeah. Shoutouts to, uh... 
the Venusaur runners mm -hmm. like Shep were mm -hmm. absolutely insane. But I have done. You don't have Venusaur to swap charge. Still probably should, so you don't forget. But you don't have to copium. Okay, so I saved before this fight because anybody oh. who's fought Lance in red, blue, fire red, or leaf green, or even and let's, let's go. go. Yeah. I love Gyarados. Lance. Quite the problem. And eh, Gyarados isn't the problem for Let's Go, but yes, oh, yeah. Gyarados is a problem in this game. Shout out to Gyarados. Uh, Gyarados isn't as bad in this game as it Please. could be if it was like Gun 1 Gyarados. Uh, three times. Oh, him. Okay. Uh, I guess. They've done a pull for first try lands. Oh, gosh. If we can do. Oh, oh that the HP sucks. It's too low. <laughs> <laughs> Barely too low. No, okay. Is that Blaze? I don't think that's Blaze. You might need to take another hit. Uh, <laughs> now that I leveled up, I can see my red pixel before I could, like, barely make it out. <laughs> you yeah. have too many red pixels. Can you, get, can you get that a little lower? Yeah. Can you, like, take seven damage for me, please? Just use your dirt. Pterodactyl's <laughs> a very fast poke, so we actually had to use a, an X speed here on this fight. Uh, don't believe we're gonna be using using one in the next fight, but I'm not too sure on that. But yeah, yeah using yeah. the X defend to like bait out uh, Hyper Beam for the extra recharge turn helps a lot for setup. Yeah, Lance's AI doesn't use Hyper Beam until it actually can kill you, so. You get into some HP that's dead to it, and then you either potion out or you X defend, so you so you tank. Then there's the recharge turn, which means you get a free turn of setup if you're doing that. Also, picking up Dragon Claw is cool because it's an accurate move, and it also means you don't have to set up as far to kill the this Dragonite. Uh, so that's Lance. We are now the champion, except. Let's You're telling me Lance wasn't the champion? Uh, yeah, it turns out he wasn't. That's the craziest twist in video games. I don't know oh. how I'll ever recover. <laughs> We're expecting... Oh, wait, no, that the, the meme doesn't even... Anyways, uh... They We're called it the Elite 4 the Elite 5. Also... That's right, you thought we were done with evolutions. Chibi. Everyone well, we clap. we got them in the E4. Geo dude on your can only part, but a weird run. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be evolving this uh, graveler, so that should be sixty pokes. And then we're gonna put Charizard in the front of the party. Yeah. Wait. Right. Also gonna save. And save, yes. Uh, because. Oh, I meant, this like, fight, once again, if, if you just get crit on the wrong turn, it's over. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> I, I meant putting Charizard in, like, full-on slot one and not, like, oh, one after fainting. Yeah. Because we, we are going to get a free heal after this fight. But to me, it goes well. I'll uh, remember two on the fly. Yeah. Yeah. You'll remember oh, too when you go well. into a battle and you're like, oh wait, oopsie. That's, uh, <laughs> why am I still sending out this Nito? <laughs> yeah, it's time to, uh, start spec up. See what this Pidgeotto decides to do. Okay, it's time to Sand Attack, I guess. Oh. So, okay. I think Sand Attack's not ideal, actually. Uh, I think we know. I don't know if you speed, but I know you act. Either one. Yeah, okay. I, I was. Lot. I almost uh, did the wrong thing. Uh. Yeah. So. Some things about good AI. Uh. 
I could always do that. Once you set up to plus three special attack, Geodo's gonna use Whirlwind. Yep. Alright, that looks good. Mm, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, should be yeah we have Blaze. Yeah, this is fine. Good. Yeah, you also would think Fire Blast. Uh, yeah, looks scary, but X Act it is 100%. So lame. The boring <laughs> kind of Fire Blast. Real gamers don't X Act. Yeah, come on. Like, last night. The Cola Racers didn't ever use XX, and they like almost hit everything. Except for the ones they didn't, but we don't talk about those. Yeah, there weren't even that many of them, so... Oh wait, I'm talking about them. They don't even exist, guys. Uh... What Fire Blast misses? <laughs> That's a move that can miss? Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think so. I'm not seeing it miss, so... So as far as I'm concerned, it can't miss. I mean, you're hitting all your fire blasts right now. Where's the proof that it can miss? Exactly. All right. So now just don't get crit here. Should be good. Oh, yeah. easy. Just don't even get extreme speed. Wait, you didn't get extreme speed. What an easy game. Uh, so. Here is, uh, so congratulations on becoming the champion. Uh, we're not done with the speedrun yet, but got round one done. Uh, just about 35 minutes to do, uh, the second round, and you'll be underestimate. You can do it. Easy, I just have to play at a world record level pace. Yeah, just yeah. don't hit and an get, optional. And get, and get the, the whole second E4 first try. Yeah. <laughs> Copium is... So here in PSR... This is going to be an exciting know, finish. <laughs> we do a lot of uh, Copium, but it turns out the rest of this run, we're going to need a lot of Hopium instead. See, all I'm saying is, like, you know, this run got God Cans, so... Well, not God Cans, but, like, first try can <laughs> recently. That was... Quite. I forgot that it was also, like, way late first can, but we're going to ignore that. That didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, all of that was Minip. Yeah, and... it was Minip to have a reset list cans, winning me uh, an unreasonable amount of channel points. Oh my gosh. Uh, so here's Oak. He's going to verify that we have 60 Pokemon in our Pokedex. Oh my gosh, we have 60. Good job. All right, we didn't go over, we didn't go under. So we're going to go get the National in the It's really funny when you do go over. It's like, uh, what happened? Usually but, it's just forgetting to mark a Pokemon and not accounting yeah. for it. Yeah, it's much better to forget to mark a poke and go over than it is to, uh... It feels a lot better. than to, uh... Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely better to go getting it, there. and then... Yeah. So some common ones that we know of are forgetting to buy Magikarp, uh... I don't know. Getting to do some trade... And Rockwings remembering to put Charizard in slot one. And we're heading back to Vermilion. Also, sometimes for me, it's forgetting to Moonstone Clefairy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Moonstone and Clefairy is super annoying because you want an actually fully evolved Nido in this run. And you don't need to just, you don't just do it at at like one giant block after Sevi. Also, I'm gonna talk to Celio. Uh, so now it's time to uh, do the Sevi post game side quest, and that's like, we're gonna look for some gemstones. Uh, it may or may not coincide with the fact that we're in Gen 3, and yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. If his name is Celio. Is he related to Sealor? I was more thinking about Celio the Pokemon, but that works too. Celio? Oh. oh! Yeah, I didn't think... Also, that was a run too. Uh... Okay, 
no optionals yet. Heck yeah. I actually didn't know that guy couldn't look down. That's news to me. Welcome to Mount Ember. Uh, yeah, I, that guy's a left to right spinner. I don't see too many directional spinners, but... Or too many, like... Those types of... I don't know. Dolo. Oh, I have not heard that name in a while. Shoutouts to the greater PSR community. Uh, yeah. Dragon Claw turns out to be a nice move. We just kind of have our PP in the late game. Too much accuracy. I don't like it. Oh, don't worry, it's fine. We'll get some a inaccurate moves just to satisfy you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so... I'm gonna continue spamming Dragon Claw, cause... Who cares? I don't know. Yeah, it's the slot one attack, is basically the story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then we're gonna enter Mount Ember. With a poke that used to learn, used to know Ember. Should have kept Ember. Would have been faster. True. Short attack. It would be faster in this section. True. But a guaranteed lance is also nice. Boring. Yeah, it's too boring. Like in any. Any percent, if you're not grabbing Dragon Claw, you just like, I don't know. It sucks without it. I, I prefer incredibly difficult, unreasonable fights. Oh, yeah. Like setting up to plus five or six and still having to hit a range with Fire Blast as well. That on sounds reasonable. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'll take those odds. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, this section is just movement. And remembering to not escape rope at the wrong time. A lot of just kind of fetch quests. Not too many trainers, and even fewer actually like interesting trainers, so yeah. Rocket Warehouse fights in the Squirtle route are, are admittedly still pretty interesting, uh, yeah. despite how awful they are. Alright, time to scroll back to the top of the menu to escape rope. Also, just gonna put the Max Repel nearby because I'm not gonna be using that many items outside of those two for the next couple of minutes. Now we have the Ruby, so we're gonna go deliver that to Celio. Oh, he, he makes sure to tell us that this favor is not anything weird, in case we, we had doubts. Oh, yeah. About fetching rocks for a man on an island. I don't know, that sounds kind of strange. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I'd trust a guy who he's wants to, to get... grab rocks for him. Yeah, he's trying to get a machine rolling, it's, it's fine, don't worry about it, y'all. He's making a death ray, he's gonna kill us all. Yeah. Like, he can't do it without our help, so like we should just be nice and... Oh. Also, uh, Mockwing's getting off the bike, if y'all are, are noticing that. And that's to save audio lag, because the bike music sucks. Audio also, lag is really funny, because, like, I think it's screen transitions, and also picking up items that have to deal with it. Yeah. yeah and speaking of nice little audio lag. By... Oh, yeah, this, yeah. this is a major section of dealing with that. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can do everybody. it perfectly. Oops. Okay, well, not perfectly. Perfectly enough. Close enough. Didn't make any really bad mistakes, and that's what matters. Yeah. Do you see? He's biking for the most part, and then hopping off, and about to leave. 
And also, it's time to teach some moves. Uh, Thankfully, Shepard, I think Lapras you're gonna water enjoy. Ball. I think you're gonna enjoy some of these moves. Yep, we're gonna I don't get like rid overheat. Of I don't like to hit my moves either. Yeah, I don't. I don't like not doing damage. So I'm gonna pick a move that's gonna deal a lot of damage. So, uh, if y'all remember Mega Kick, I said I described it as a nuke. Uh, if you hit, it hits like a- it hits so hard. Uh, overheat is even more so of that. And it also happens to be more accurate too, so that's nice. So like, imagine a stab mega kick, but it also hits. Yeah. But also it, uh, lowers your special attack by two stages, so... So it's you basically just use it as like a final turn type thing. It's also a little bit yeah. slow because of that though. Because you then when you use it you do have to deal with uh you know the oh hey you know you lowered your attack even or special attack even like if you use it on the last pokemon in a fight it'll yeah. still lower unfortunately yeah, and we're gonna do a little bit of that uh most part if we can if we can help it we're not going to use overheat there also there's also the 10 10 percent chance it misses uh yeah Th that's also an issue, because 90 accurate, funny. Yeah. It is 5% more than Fire Blast. That is true. This is true. Yeah. This is our final move set. Uh, we are three and a half hours into the run, and we finally have gotten our final move set. Had, like, one move set for a long time, to be fair, because. Ember Scratch, Keck W. Dude, Ember Scratch is all you really need. Yeah. That and, you know, Flamethrower and Wing Attack to do actual damage. Yeah, 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 don't worry about that part. Are you- wait, hold on. You're saying Ember d didn't do full damage? Did you not see some of those Embers? It did a little one? bit- it, it did a little bit of damage, I'll admit it. Okay, so Ember, we're Ember gonna do the, the little funny move of flying to the place that we're already in. So that'll take us to the center faster than just going there. This is my favorite run to bike in the run. Oh gosh. Blink and you'll miss it. Okay, I'll stop blinking. I like that. Ooh, all right. Welcome to Ruin Valley. I totally did not just read the text box that p appeared to tell y'all where we are. I'm a little jealous you had them move, or them both turn so quickly. What the heck? That yeah, was that's lucky. unfair. Okay, this part makes so much sense. You cut the door, um, as you do, you know, in a normal setting when you, like, need to enter a building or something. Yeah, it's a door, and it's, like, rock or uh, I don't actually know. I mean, like, right. if, you, if you're if you not cutting rocks, what are you doing with your time, you know? Also, this, uh, this puzzle, uh, has to go in a certain direction, and Hawkwing's doing just that. Hopping on the bike, and then hopping right off to not get the audio lag. So. Also, bike music, as this scientist or something, like, trail does and stole the sapphire from us, I don't know. Whatever. He followed uh, us using the sound of the bike music. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't I like pull that. all the audio fast enough. I like that. Okay. I think canon, that's exactly what happened. We're making too much bike music. Uh, also, we're going to go to Five Island now. And we have all rocket passwords, so we're going to go into the rocket warehouse. Uh, long place. Uh, if y'all right, enjoyed spin tiles earlier, uh, don't worry, we have quite a few of those. Yeah, fortunately, uh, it's a lot safer for Charizard than it is for Blastoise. These fights are, like, really not hard at all. Yeah, Charizard really honestly doesn't even break the sweat. Like, yeah. unless you see crit max roll rock tomb yeah there's a few things that can go wrong but like one or two things going wrong is 
turns out that's actually less than like five, six, seven things that can go wrong. Like, last toys, to be fair, it doesn't need the black glasses at this point in the run, so it just equips a Lumberry, and you just hopefully don't have to activate it on the first fight that you can activate it on. <laughs> So yeah, welcome to the warehouse. Uh, lots of spin tiles. Bit of a playground for that, that regard. The spinner only looks up and right. So, bag manip, because you can't run in here. Also, nice vision. And then, this spinner sucks. Yeah, so for both of these spinners, they're type C spinners, which means that after the 30 second frame uh they can spin every 16 frames and if you're walking your walking speed is 16 frames so you'll never have a safe pass unless you bag minute so here's this uh hypno guy oh that's uh, not good oh gosh oh no it happened it's time to have some fun y'all yay I don't like hitting moves. Okay. All right, one move. salsa out of two. That's uh, that's okay. Opium. Yeah, and here's an example of you know overheating because you don't want to deal with hitting the. Uh... Yeah. Oh. Also saving PP. I guess I didn't explain bag manips earlier. So on a bag manip. When you enter the bag or just like exit the overworld into a menu, yeah, it'll restart battle. and freeze a, a spinner's clock. So you can use it for like guaranteed passes and movement. Yeah. It's a little bit slow because you obviously have to go into the bag. But that's fine. For like the safety it adds because it, it guarantees it. Exactly. Oh, no worries. Oh, welcome to the run. You're entering the most important run, and that's the second round of the Elite Four, so don't you worry at all. So, uh, like, why not also do, uh, like, E4 round, like, 3, 4, all the way through, like, 25? That doesn't exist. I mean, what I, what I, what I more meant was, you know, like, EXP grinding... Just, uh, just be the first to get to around 100. Even catch them all doesn't go that far. <laughs> yeah. I only have to hit, like, round 19, I think. 19? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, uh, so yeah. Can I... I actually think I just need to go in. I don't think there's a, a safety heal here. If I super, I'm... Safety a heal is just I don't, don't get, die. Yeah, there's a chance I don't get placed back into Blaze. Which is ideal. Yeah. Okay. Hit the first one. That's what you want to see. We got one more. It's also going well so far. Love to see it. Yeah, it's generally good to hit your moves, uh, mostly because it kills Pokemon when that happens. Uh, funny enough, there are some moves that when they hit, they don't actually kill, but you still need them to hit. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of that in this route. The rest of this run, but... There's enough of it. There's an option. Oh yeah, there's been enough of that, that's for sure. I love Rival 2. Oh my gosh. Fun parts are when you miss Mega Kick and then crying, but then you, I don't know, you crit a Mega Kick and you're just like. I love missing okay. Mega Kick into Withdraw so that like two Mega Kicks just doesn't kill. Yeah, or doesn't even doesn't even put them put it into Torrent. Like that's the real Kek W there. Also, we're done with the actually hard fights in the post game. Uh, this scientist uh, is a pushover. There's what do you no mean? The scientist is really difficult. I've never lost to him before, but surely the day will come. Oh yeah, they can come if uh, 
I mean, on, on the Blastoise route, I, I've i definitely died here on a PB before. Ow. Uh, to the Electrode, actually. If you are 21 or 22 speed, you are speed tied with it. Oh, yeah. 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 I didn't I didn't know that. Blastoise doesn't have a lot of speed, and it also doesn't have a lot of levels at this point. Whereas Charizard has both speed and levels. Uh, we're going to need all of the speed, levels, and special attack for Elite Four that's coming up here, so let's be prepared to have some fun with the salsa, everybody. Also, we're going to have a... and it's going to be really fun explaining the AI. Uh, do you want us to handle the AI, or do you want to do it, or what? Uh... You guys can talk about the AI since. All right. I think I'll have to leave up. you to do that, Randall, because I, I don't oh, actually know the AI oh very well. Gosh. I can All right. I got y'all. Here we go. <laughs> Old man Randall has finally arrived. At Old the man ball. Also, <laughs> <laughs> I have finally actually regained my sight, and now it's time to to share my sight with everybody. Also, we're going back to uh, one island because we need to actually turn in the. Into the uh, what's its face, uh, the sapphire. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, then we'll be heading back to Kanto. So what the what giving the sapphire, the ruby and sapphire actually does is like you can you gain the capability of trading with the Hoenn games. We're not gonna do that at this point. Like, if we wanted to trade in some pokes, we could have we could have done that a long time ago when we needed pokes that could actually beat Brock and like Misty and all that. <laughs> but you know, not to mention we've already caught all the Pokemon we need to, and uh, so so we're 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 good on that front. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, welcome back to Vermilion. Uh, gonna do a lot of menuing while we're here. Oh, actually, I so. should have healed in that menu, too. Oh, yeah. 16 HP, it turns out, is uh, not much for what we need to do here on Lorelei. Because the Elite Four order do... doesn't change. Uh, got it? You ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Technically, don't... Oh, actually, no. Uh, oh, let me go into my bag. Yeah, make sure to get ready for the actual fight on the HP. Oh, I don't have an extra potion. That's fine. Uh, two, three supers should be fine. Oh, yeah. wait. I have the Oran. I have an Oran. If you need it. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're doing a very specific HP setup. Uh, so we don't want to die to Lorelei, it turns out. But we also uh, want to get into Blades. Turns out Surf does a lot of damage, so like full HP or like close to full HP is usually totally fine. Wait. Oh. Are you supposed to start with Lappers in front? Lappers? Well, yeah. Okay, I don't remember this game apparently. I believe we did this fight last week. Yeah. So we, for... we did do this fight last week. All so. the Lapras fans out there. Yeah. Lapras has some really cool moves. One of them happens to be Parish Song. Uh, for those of you who know what Parish Song does, it puts both you and your opponent's Pokemon that are out on a three-turn timer. And if you don't switch out, it's going to faint. So we're both going to switch out. We're going to do that right now here. So Yugong's not going to switch out quite yet. It's going to try to hit this Lapras. But it thinks Lapras has Water Absorb as an ability, so it's not going to use Surf. Instead, it's going to use Double Team and fight us or something. I don't know. So, Dugong's now that? on two, and we're going to X Special. It hit. Oh, wait, what? Actually, no, that's fine. Yeah, it, it shouldn't hit that's there right. still, but so, I, I believe it's fine. I'm I think I just need to hit a Fire Blast. Not lose the Dugong. Here's Piloswine. Uh, yeah. Here we go, it's gonna be fun. 
Normally you don't get actually hit by Surf, but uh... You don't get all the good things in life, we're just gonna get lucky instead. Mm. Welcome back to Gone. That did not just happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there goes the estimate. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the range. the range after after a failed a failed uh, strat. Gong heard how much smack we were talking about the what's its face. So uh decided to get its revenge. So this is the the Lorelei fight, everybody. Uh we're gonna be sending in Lapras instead of Charizard. There is an alternative fight. Or got an uh, alternate strat that's a little bit, uh, I think, riskier. Funnier. Uh, it's a little bit funnier because you literally just sack your Charizard, but you also don't use Lapras, so it's kind of dumb. Yeah. I mean, you you can do it. Oh wait, you can't really do it with Lapras, huh? Never mind. Lapras is too bulky for that strat. Yeah, because oh. okay, uh, that's you you overheat setup. and then just let yourself die because a blaze overheat does kill uh, Dion. Uh, no, it puts a uh, Dugong at half HP. Oh, it does Not it? Not enough to heal. So then you die, and then Dugong kills Tentacle. Oh yeah, it does, yeah, right, zero, yeah. Like, Butterfaller. But, uh, Lorelei has withdrawn Dugong, so... Things are going according to plan. So, what we're gonna see actually happen here is Dugong's gonna come in, then... Because Double Team AI exists, it's gonna use Double Team. We're gonna expect. Like, actually, no. We're dragon clawing, right? We're taking it off its turn one AI. So Diagon double teams, which puts it at plus one at Asian. We're just gonna exact to like counter that, and it's gonna hit us. And it's gonna hit us into blaze. Ooh, okay. Right. And now this fight is free. And also, we can safely uh fire blast as well so yeah yeah this fight went be okay i i uh, yeah I went, went well the second time i uh the dugong likes to do weird things like surf on ah, it it should does be double like teaming you weird things sorry uh yeah it's time for uh, Bruno. Bruno's onyxes have evolved into Steelixes, and well, that doesn't matter to us because it turns out Seal is actually weak to fire. It turns out, yeah, uh, when you lose your rock typing, uh, it becomes a lot easier to die to fire. Yeah. Even then, we were over leveled compared to. Well, we have levels. But there's still things that can go wrong with uh, Bruno. We're making it sound easier. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, I think it the is fight actually can be as but... simple as a five-turn fight. It can be, you'd say. Yeah, There's to... also only one range on this fight. <laughs> <laughs> and only one overheat. Oh, Lapras, you are still here. Congrats. Oh. Okay, well, Lapras is gonna die to Steelix, unfortunately. Sorry to Lapras. That's fine, though. Yeah. We no longer need Lapras for any Parish Song strats. Yeah. Make sure you put Charizard back in front. I will. <laughs> I'll definitely remember after this fight. Yeah. Book 7 to Lapras indeed, everybody. And slots, as usual. <laughs> Very important. Okay, we got one more fire blast. Salsa. And one more overheat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, there's the miss. What? I'm gonna try and recover this. Deaths are recoverable! Here we go! It's, it's possible, it's possible. Ride. Copium. Copium. Time for some copium, everybody. Oh, we don't want, actually want Chiding to come out yet. Like, 
funny enough, Chiding's actually quite important to us. Yes, Chiding matters a lot for one of the fights coming up. Oh, goodbye to Graveler. Yeah, we should see Rock Slide. Yeah, we will. I tried this out a little bit ago. I think last week during the race. <gasps> no way. X defend is necessary? Oh. I thought you were supposed to tank from pool. That's fine. Unfortunate. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We came close. Uh, we're doing well, guys. So, yeah, we're starting Bruno now. Uh,. <laughs> you know, it's, it's wild that, you know, Steelix is no longer a rock type. So oh my like... god, I forgot Lapras again. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, so, welcome to speedrunning with Charizard. Yes. Yeah, much faster to put all of our experience into one poke. <clears throat> uh... <laughs> it's four times this run. <laughs> I think that is actually four times. It's okay. Actually, it this, might be five. This Pokemon has been known to make uh, people's execution worse. Yeah. Yeah, and the notes for some reason. It's wild. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Why do you only have three fire moves? That's true. Why don't you have three fire moves? Earlier. And four earlier. Actually, for like. Like a few seconds, because we taught Sunny Day over Scratch to make it four, and then immediately I'm Dragon Claw over Ember. But that counts as four, so. Yeah. Second Bruno fight went much, much smoother. With several conditions. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but actually no. So, this is the Elite Four Round 2 speedrun where you want to catch 60 Pokémon. The reasoning that is that unlocks the National Dex, which then unlocks the post game, and then beating the post game side quest uh, would unlock this, and this is the upgraded version of the Elite Four. With, like, level 60s Pokémon and, like, folks that are in the National Dex and stuff like that. So... Yeah, you see this 331 IGT copium, y'all. Uh, hey, look at that! Anyways. We're still we're still sub four. Yeah, we're sub four, guys. <laughs> so you know, if, if I stop the timer here, it, it can always be sub four. This is very true. Yeah. No one saw so, that. Yeah, this is Agatha. I don't. Act oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna never be sub my, my this pro rate. order now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, Chiding was sent out. I, I was not looking, and I was confused as to why the reset. Yeah, you can't, you can't let Chiding die. Uh, hang on a sec. Uh, this is not on not on an emulator, but this game is actually uh, very popular amongst, like, emulator runners, and, and fairly easy to get into. Yeah, Blaze Flamethrower still taking care of things, even in round two. Uh, this is another thinker for sure. Yeah, this is Blaze. It's making everything kind of easy. Obviously, you still need to it, but uh, let's not mention that part. Okay. Got the hard one. Yeah, fire blasting a crowbat of all things. Uh, hope y'all are enjoying that. Crobat has a weirdly high special defense stat. Does it actually? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I learned that the hard way. Uh... <laughs> Makes it a good Ironmon Pokemon. Shoutouts to Ironmon. Shoutouts to Xarian. One of the best Pokemon speedrunners of all time, and now also a great Iron Monitor. I don't, I don't know if that's how you say it. Anyways, uh, here's Lance. Lance is actually really cool. So, this is where Chidane gets its moment to shine, everybody. Uh, we accidentally sent it out against Agatha, but its time has actually come now. So, I hope y'all are ready for some content. E and also, we're gonna set up our e book order. This is... Not looking too pretty. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. This is why save was invented. Oh wait. Uh, I, that was an early save because I needed elixir. Okay. I did not forget. This will get interesting. Uh. Yeah. This is definitely going to be very interesting. So, yeah, this this fight is just very funny. Um, very heavy on AI abuse, and that's why the, uh... We'll see if we're able to actually abuse the AI correctly. Hopefully. Yeah. The uh... notes, uh, literally tell you exactly what Gyarados is supposed to do. In what yeah. order. But we don't have the ability to set up our HP in the right way, so, uh... Yeah. We might kind of use our up. supers a little too early. Yeah. Hadn't caught that, so. Looks on all of Chitting. us. Chitting. 07 for Chitting. Valiant effort. So, uh, Chitting dies to the Hyper Beam. Uh, let's get some 07s for, for Chitting. For Ducks. Uh, Gyarados recharges, and now we're going to start setting up, because we outspeed it right now. We're going to get Thunder Wave to, to that to not happen now. This is probably Dragon Dance, hopefully. Yeah, good. And Dragon Dance probably twice here, I'd imagine. Yeah. Okay, so this should be fine. Uh, you have full heal, so you're fine, actually. I should have so... to extend here. Uh, uh this will be... And then just full restore for the win. Uh, no, just full heal. Full heal. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, full heal. Yeah, because we want oh to get God. hit into Blaze. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Okay, just need to hit the Fire Blast. Randall, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I got you, I got you. Oof. Alright. Let's go. I was like looking at the notes and I was like, full restore. Must full restore. Yeah, so you usually full restore to get to full HP and cure your paralysis, and that would mean that you get hit to blaze, and Kratos doesn't have a free, he doesn't have a turn anymore. But uh, because we had to heal the full, uh, Gyarados instead of doing one Dragon Dance and immediately hyper beaming us to blaze, it did a second uh, Dragon Dance so it could kill us. So then we used the X Defend to tank the hyper beam instead of just healing the full. Yeah, that's uh, some quirky AI. Uh, if you thought this was quirky, well, you ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, camp is just... really funny and actually like hilariously difficult to mess up. Uh, there's actually yeah, that's true, huh? And it's also going to show us why we went through so much trouble, like we, why we ran from the early game Ekans and instead took this uh, later game Ekans that we ended up taking like an hour ish ago. So. Yeah. Hope y'all are excited. Yeah, we bought full heals in like I don't even know when. I was I was curious about when we bought it, but it turns out it saved the run, so uh everything is fine. <laughs> yeah, you know, okay, don't so actually, actually yeah, I, I don't need to do anything here, but <laughs> saving is optional. Uh this is by far my favorite fight in the entire run. Uh, yeah. such a joy to watch and now actually get to finish the run doing it. The whole run has uh, been building up to specifically this. Yeah. If you've never seen the ending of a Charizard round 2 run, you're in for a uh, treat. You're in for a treat, yeah. So, 
It's probably this one of the a... funniest fights I've seen in any Pokemon run. Yeah. Leads a, uh, what's its face? A Heracross, yes. Has, like, a Megahorn. Uh, Earthquake. Let me see if I remember the other moves. Counter. And, uh, Rock Tomb. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna heal this Charizard to full. And, uh, this Ekans has intimidated the Heracross, but it still dies to Earthquake, so... Don't have to worry too much about seeing too much snake. Snake! Anyways, uh, oh, seven Charizard's snake. coming in. On a minus one attack Heracross, and it's gonna X defend here. And that's gonna mean we take a rock tomb, but we don't deal we don't take a whole lot of damage. Now, we're slower than the Heracross. And also it can't kill us with Rock Tomb, so it's not gonna use Rock Tomb. What is it gonna use? It's gonna use counter. So we're just gonna set up now. Uh, I hope Mockwing doesn't mess up the counting, but even if he does, who cares? It's gonna keep spamming. Counter. So we're gonna set up to full on <laughs> X specials. And then we're gonna set up uh, our X accuracy. We're gonna make sure we stay slower than the Heracross, otherwise, who knows what's gonna happen. Uh, but X accuracy is gonna make it so that we can just fire blast without. Any problems, and then we're gonna outspeed the Heracross, kill it, and win the game. Yeah. Thank y'all for watching Elite Four Round 2 with Charizard, and we hope y'all had a great time. It's... This was one of the runs of yeah. all time. This was actually <laughs> really good. Like, let's not mention Surge. Let's not mention putting Charizard in slot one. This run went well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, realistically, you know, Charizard not being in slot 1, it, I, I guess it may have built up, but it's 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 the least of our concern. Or a Lapras. Yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed. And uh, this Tyranitar is turning on Sandstream, so it's going to take a little bit of time for this uh, fight to end. But it's still fine, like... And ironically fine. Of yeah. Four in our herds. Uh, oh yeah, Dragon Claw, Dragon Claw. That's what I need. Oh yeah, make sure you don't use the wrong move. That that is still something we need to take care of because it turns out these pokes are still really bulky. Like even at uh, now it's plus four special attack. The sandstorm rages. Oh yeah. Sand go grows wild on the mountain tonight. Not a wait. Hold on a sec. Thanks, Randall. You're welcome. <laughs> Arcanine, please roar. <laughs> what if it's actually using roar? I mean, you outspeed the Arcanine speed. anyways. Maybe you should just burn a turn and see if it roars. Uh, burn nah, a turn. We're gonna. Oh. I, I see. Oh. Oh yeah, X defend easy. Overheat for the win, cause why not? <laughs> cause I've gotten yeah. I've gotten it not using extreme speed, so I stay out of blaze, and then fire blast doesn't kill. Oh yeah, that's. And then the fight's really awkward. Oh yeah. <laughs> also, my best champ split before this was 12 minutes and 37 seconds. Ooh, well, now your best split. is faster than that. Congratulations. Also, much faster. <laughs> uh, let's shout out uh, Charizard's level. It... Where is that one rare one we can get, Kappa? Uh, let me take a look at the list. Yeah, thank y'all for watching. Uh, thank y'all for having us crazy heads for having us uh fire blasters yeah so yeah we're a little bit overestimate fine we have the dream team the dream finish uh, i want to say thank you to both randall and sheep for the commentary you guys are fantastic i uh, had a lot of fun uh, yeah, just doing the run. That was a great run. That was epic. Yeah. <laughs> Graveler 
seconds. <laughs> no. The Hall of Fame sequence. I don't I'm, know how many of y'all have had that. Oh, I just love how many I of these I were useful. The what they call it? Yeah. Woo! 342 subestimate. Yeah. Yay! Subestimate. <laughs> that is a good moment. Yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna be seeing more Charizard. Yeah. I do want to say that when or. I came into PSR two years ago, and literally one of the first things I ever worked on was uh, routing Charmander any percent and round two for Fire Red Leaf Green. And two years later, I'm here, like having never dropped speed running. I never would have imagined that. Uh, doing a Charmander run at PSRM, also never would have imagined that. I'm like just so overjoyed I could show off such a cool run. Uh, thank you to everyone for all the help putting together the marathon and once again to the commentators even though the run didn't go uh perfectly as planned and it went a little bit overestimate i'm still really happy uh, i got to do it and got to show off so many cool things yeah yeah of course uh, we're glad to have you thank you all so much and yeah, thank you all for sticking with me through all this cursed Gen 3 commentary and all that content. And thank you all for having me. And yeah. Uh, 